Hello everybody, welcome back uh, to Filbert Flies and uh, welcome to this flight from Sydney to uh, Ballina Byron Gateway Airport which is a relatively new release from AU Scene and I'm going to be giving away two copies of it during uh, during today's two legs uh, we're flying there and back uh, it's been a long time it's been a long time since I've done a stream can't really remember how this all works but um, a very very warm welcome to all those of you who are here on time um, I've said hello to a few of you Jenny hello Christopher hello PTSF Plainview hello um, Becky hello welcome uh, Kai um, Harrison <laughs> it is it is it is me Harrison you <laughs> well it must be such a treat for you to actually be able to watch me do my thing live um, after such a long time <laughs> it's lovely to have you all here time to win again good luck Christopher um, so the plan is um, there I'm going to be starting the flight and after takeoff I'm going to be asking a question. Um, those of you who type the correct answer to the question in the YouTube chat will be in with a chance of winning one of the two copies uh, of this airport. There are going to be two separate questions, one for each leg, uh, but the competition hasn't started yet so you've still got plenty of time to read the carefully put together terms and conditions which are linked to in the video description. And I'll tell you more about it once, once we're in the air. Scott, hello, nice to see you. And uh, Elliot, hello to you. I don't know if I've said hello to you. I don't think I have. And Melon Lord, nice to see you as well. So yes, we are currently on uh, domestic stand 5-6, I think. Uh, yes, 5-6 at uh, Flight Tampa's Sydney Airport. And it's looking very nice. We've got a few people flying with us today. Uh, we've got another Jetstar over here. We've got some kind of corporate liveried CRJ over here. Um, I'm not entirely sure who is who at uh, at the moment, but I'm sure all will become clear once we uh, once we get up in the air. I also saw a Jetstar Australia, a uh, Boeing 737, not Jetstar Australia, sorry, Virgin Australia 737 somewhere over here, but he's gone. I know Simon was planning on coming in a 737, but I haven't haven't seen him as of yet. Um, opinion of the food that is called rice. I, it's very nice. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you for asking my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get on board. And uh, as usual, I'm using uh, the two FS2 crew products, the uh, Project A32 and X add-on, and uh, Pushback Express. So I'm going to start by running the pre-flight events um, on the uh, on the FS2 crew program itself. And the first officer hopefully will give us a bit of a hand uh, powering up the aircraft and uh, getting things underway, which is always nice. Which is always nice. Uh, not live time, but live weather. So this is a flight that. Uh, departs at 7.20 in the morning, local time, so that's when we're flying it. Um, yeah, definitely not time there. <clears throat> you'll continue flying a vaccine when you'll get a joystick. Good, good, good. Have you got a joystick on order, Tree to Run? Harrison's not flying because uh, he can't bear the ridiculous lack of realism that comes with flying a, an Airbus A320 Neo uh, rather than a uh, CO in Jetstar colours. So I found out today that Harrison has never actually flown in Australia for that very reason. And uh, fair play to him, that's what I say, you know, each to their own. Um, I totally, yeah, I don't know. We all have our little things that we, uh, that we can and can't accept when it comes to realism, I think. <clears throat> don't think you could fly the A32NX without FS2 crew. No, I know, I know. It adds so much realism, doesn't it? It's, uh, yeah, it's brilliant, it's brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Plus, the first officer adds a great deal of uh, of entertainment value, as we have as we have seen. Right. Let's get the old IRSs aligned. I was flying the seven four seven overnight last night, so I'm not feeling particularly in tune with uh, with the Airbus world. Um, but I'm sure it'll come back to me. It's like riding a bike, right? So we've got our nav and logo lights on. Um, we've turned on the fuel pumps. APU's running because the first officer likes to start that early doors, which, I, you know, I don't have a problem with. I'll uh, let him get on with it. It saves me a job later on. Um, and we'll come down to the MCDU. And we'll start by importing our flight plan from Simbrief via the AOC menu and init pres. There we are. YSSY to YBNI. A estimated time on route of exactly one hour. And we'll refuel. And we'll load the payload. 
and we'll do our OFP request. Now our zero fuel weight centre of gravity is 30 so we'll use that later when we're setting our trim. Just don't worry about anything except it's bright or noisy equals welcome back to the A320. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> a multi-million dollar flying bike filled with a couple of hundred souls. <laughs> Ian, hello, welcome. Flying's flying, boss. But you highly disagree with the Ryanair A320. Yes, I draw the line at that as well, Ian. I draw the line at that as well. Um, you got the Skyline Simulations LXGB last. Is it good, DJ LA? You okay, can bear it watching I'm others. The walk around. <laughs> Looking down upon others. You're well, I'm pleased. Joining in on one of these is long overdue. It is. You're flying along, are you? Or um, No, you're just. I mean, you mean joining in as in you're here live. Awesome. Jolly good. Right, if we go to the init page uh, now of the FMGS, we'll press init request. And uh, there we are. Our flight plan is being inserted. We'll wait for that to complete and then we'll complete a few more details. And uh, job should be a good one. I'm pleased it's good. I'm pleased it's good. <laughs> surely, Scott, surely, even you, even you uh, must have seen the error of your ways by now, no? <laughs> Tingo, hello. How was the uh, how was the wedding? Not yet brave enough for that, so no, it takes some time. You'll get there, I'm sure. Very good apart from being in lockdown, but that's good to spend more time on the simulator. Oh, this is true. This is true. Cool. AOC Active uh, Flight Plan uplink, so we can clear those messages so we don't get muddled up. I'm going to use a cost index of 12 today. Not that it makes a difference in the A32NX, I don't think. Um... So that's our init A page done. And uh, we're going to have to get our clearance before completing the flight plan page. So I think we'll do that now. Um, so fortunately we have Sydney Tower online uh, on 120.5. And I haven't yet got the ATIS, so we'll do that as well. Okay, so ATIS Bravo is current, 3-4 uh, left and 3-4 right are in use, so we don't yet know which of those we're going to get, that's part of the excitement. Um, yeah, so we are, what stand are we on? Domestic 5-6. Um, not overly familiar with Australian ATC. I've only done a few flights where we've actually had control right, over here. No issues so, on the um, Hopefully, hopefully we have sympathetic controllers on. <laughs> um, domestic gate. And like I always do when I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing, <laughs> I'm uh, typing out my clearance in advance. Yeah, 5-6. With, uh, what are we after? What uh, information with Bravo? Right, one, two, zero, decimal five, which is what we have down here. <clears throat> oh, my push to talk button is not working. Why? Ah, because I had to reinstall. Uh, that's why, that's why. Could you lot not hear me on ATC this morning at all when I was on Unicom? I bet you couldn't. <laughs> oh, you may get us to buy her in you. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Sydney Tau, good evening. Jetstar 456 at domestic gate 56 with information Bravo, type A320. Uh, request clearance to Ballina, please. Jetstar 456, good evening. You're clear to Ballina via intraplan route. Entrance 5 departure, runway 34 right, climb by the 6 to 5000, walk 4751, and departure frequency 125.0. Uh, cleared to Ballina via the Entra 5 departure, departing runway 34 right, uh, initial climb 5000 feet, squawking 4751, and uh, departure on 125.0, Jetstar 456. Jetstar 456, thanks. He said something else, but I didn't hear it. What did he say before Entra 5? Zap! Zap! Early doors! 
early doors with the new Club Filbert sign up. Thank you ever so much. Welcome. Welcome to Club Filbert Bronze. That's very much appreciated. Nice to have you on board. Oh, and for you and anyone else who may be considering joining Club Filbert, just make sure in the Discord, uh, in your Discord settings, that you've linked your YouTube account with your Discord account to make sure you get access to all the exclusive private members only areas. Caffel, hello, hello, hello. Good evening, uh, these fancy pants tubes are a mystery to me anyway. Give me an old tail dragger in the scrub. <laughs> there's there's room in my life for both these things. Velocity 11.41, you're clear to Bellina via intra-planned route. Intra 5 departure. Oh, via something planned route. Okay, that makes sense. That's uh, Simon there. Right, so departure. We're going to be going runway 34, right? Entra 5. And we'll insert that. And we'll come down here and set our squawk before we forget. 4751. Sydney Tower, Boeing uh, Zero Tango Charlie, we're at domestic six, requesting airway clearance to Kahului, information uh, brother. And we'll set the local pressure, which is 1027. November 50, Tango Charlie, you'll And we'll do Kahului our performance page. Via, now, uh, I haven't had a chance to do the uh, check my flex takeoff runway, temperature via spreadsheet left. today, so I'm just going to do that very quickly. Uh, I was almost tempted to say we'll guess it, but no, 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 that's not how we roll here on Philbert Flies. Little bit of background noise. Yeah, there is. There is William on his mic. Yeah. Uh, we're not that different from Europe. You just have to say everything backwards <laughs> and standing on your head, presumably, Philip. <laughs> not a cult. Your uniform will be melting. Thirty nine. Uh, dear. Uh, right. Okie dokie. So I'm just going to have a quick look at the airport chart. Talk amongst yourselves, and I'll uh, I'll sort this out. So we're doing three four right, uh, which is heading three three five. Elevation seventy six. Runway length is two four three eight. Uh, uh, wind is currently. Zero three zero at one seven. And the outside air temperature is 18, not very warm, not very warm. QNH1026, runway is dry. Takeoff weight is uh, uh, 63855. Your mic just bumped, uh, so I don't hear anything. Uh, UPS 39, Hi, your security and safety checks are all done. Uh, we get to start boarding. Caden Caden yes. One departure, runway okay. three, four left. Get the boarding underway. And our flex takeoff temperature is going to be 59 degrees. And we're going to use the speeds that the um, FMS calculates because someone told me that, uh, in fact, the spreadsheet doesn't calculate the correct takeoff speeds. It does it for the CO rather than the NEO. So uh, we'll just pop these in instead, which tend to be a little lower. And uh, yeah, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. So, initial uh, climb points, 5,000 feet. And uh, squawk 1434, and departure 125. Uh, and I'm not even going to put in our arrival. I'm not even going to put in our arrival uh, because with the uh, new custom flight plan manager, we shouldn't have to. Oh, sorry, my bad. The 24F for EPS, uh, 39 AV. That's not how we roll today, exactly, yeah, Roger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I call you back uh, when ready to push and start. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, I'm sorry, Harry. Yeah. I should, I'll, I'll give it a go one of these days, but perhaps not on a stream and perhaps on a fake account. Uh, 1137, <laughs> Neo, information Bravo on Sam 40. I do need to get Bellana. into the meowing. I do. I need to try that at some point. Hello, Matt. Welcome. Still don't understand the meowing. For one day, I'll try. Okay. Um, the four start checklist. Cockpit prep. Completed. Uh, Completed. On and Call auto. Six zero three Are one. You sure no, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> 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 uh, the Thanks. 
Still haven't got my head around what he does and what I do. Good evening, good evening. Just, uh, Nav. Is type Fuel quantity. Uh, Delta 5140 five kilograms. Bravo, blue, Take off data. Set. Bravo, ref. 1027 set. 1027 set. Zero, set. Five, five, Down four, to the line. Four, two, six, two. Right, and now what we need to do is uh, wait for boarding to complete and all of the rest of the pre-flight events, but what I'm going to do is just fast forward that a little Thank bit. You, sir. It's an entry to entry by departure from when we free for right to initial climb to 5,000. And I'll get the old uh, SID chart up. And uh, departure from 125 decimal zero, just start 426. Yeah, start 426. So we're not doing 3-4 left as planned, we're doing 3-4 right. And we're doing the entry 5. Which is pretty straightforward. Take off, turn right, turn right again. No biggie. We'll have a look at the charts on that once we're in the air. All station Sydney information, Charlie is now current. Changes, uh, cloud view at 4800. QNH1027, information, Charlie. Cool, I've now got Charlie. Looking good. Hey guys, all packs were on board. Are we clear to close? Can you, Harrison? Can you? Is he going to? He didn't request his clearance as you advised. <laughs> yes. Thanks. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Thank you. Um. Right, just got to wait for the door to actually close and we'll get rid of the jetway to uh, hurry that along a little bit. Um, yeah, it's weird coming back to MSFS. I've <laughs> played it for a while. Oh, I see Ian as well. Cool, doors are closed. We'll get the beacon on. I have got a flight plane in for you. And we'll get the push bag tug ready. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead, flight deck. We'll be ready shortly. Roger. Uh, Sydney Tower, this is Jetstar 337. Once more, taxi RG. Below the line. Down to Delta 52. Windows and doors. Once again, Closed. we're requesting high fire clearance to Beacon. Bolina. We had a uh, crash to on. desktop. Thrust oh, levels. bad luck on your crash to desktop. Uh, Jetstar 337. I did give you clearance, it shouldn't have Idle. changed, but we'll go again. Parking uh, brake. to Bellina via Entra Plan route. Entra 5 departure, runway 34 right. Set. Climb by the Before start thousand. checklist Before complete. Zero, <laughs> it's five. true, it's true, Scott. Ian one, is 291. Uh, Entra uh, 5, I said, 5000, initial climb, uh, squawk 6052, and then switch to 125 uh, decimal zero for departure. Thank you very much, 327. Just three two here. thank you. And Sydney Tower, Jetstar 456, uh, with information Charlie, stand 56, request push and start. Jetstar 456, push approved. Push approved, Jetstar 456. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead, flight deck. We are ready for pushback and engine yeah, start. Roger, release yeah, to the parking brakes, please. It is pretty long, uh, Melon. However... Parking brakes released. I've never actually done it, so I'm quite pleased, quite pleased to be able to get to see a little bit of, uh, a little bit of the airport. You're cleared behind it. You start your engines at your discretion. Starting engine two. Check. Oh, wrong right. Ninety-one. You're clear to Ballina via intraplan route. Intra five departure. Runway three four right. Climb by the fifty-five thousand. Walk four two four seven. And departure three. Yeah, it's good, isn't it, Harrison? It's good. See so many shiny, shiny planes. Ballina is um, is near Byron Bay, so it's about an hour north of Sydney on the east coast of Australia. And I learned today off Harrison that it is Ballina and not Ballina, which is what I've been calling it up till now. It's not one thing. 
Simitar, Apollo 244 with you on visual. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, station calling, was that flight doctor 244? Push back complete, set parking brakes please. That was flight doctor 244. Parking brakes set. Roger, okay, the tow bar is disconnected and the equipment is clear. We will see you on the right with the pin. Thanks, and you can disconnect and go to hand signals. Thanks, have a good flight, see you later. And uh, Boeing Zero Tango Charlie, domestic six, request startup clearance. Starting engine one. Check. You always try and get three, four, right? You like the tech? Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, I can see why. I just sort of, I always rush into this airport and then rush straight back out. I never really get to enjoy it. Yeah, I'm going to get lost there. <laughs> Thank you, Drohan. Thank you. Nice to have you. I'm filing on SIF brief. What are the information that you input, other than the departure and arrival and aircraft type? That's about it, really, Rajiv. Uh, uh, yeah, aircraft type, departure and arrival. Sometimes I change the cost index. Sometimes I change the uh, registration number of the aircraft. But yeah, I normally let it calculate the rest itself and then make any tweaks if I don't like what it's done for any reason. You're on your way in Volanta, awesome dingo. Right, let's uh, just wait for the available notification. There it is, we've got two good engine starts. And so we can turn off the APU bleed, we can turn off the APU, we can set the nose light to taxi, and we can set our takeoff trim, which I never remember to do, so I'm very, very proud of myself. And we want 30% down here. There it is. After start checklist. Anti ice. Off. Ecam status. Checked. Pitch trim. Thirty percent set. Rudder trim. Zero. After start checklist complete. Flight control check. Ready. Full up. Full down. Neutral. Ooh, why did my? Full left. Full right. Did you Neutral. see that? My throttles just went full forward. That's a bit worrying. Rudder. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Just start 327 and ready for pushing start. Jet Star 337, uh, Squawk Mode Charlie, calling please. Flight Tennis, please prepare for takeoff. Uh, Jet Star 327 is squawking mode Charlie. Clear left side. Uh, apologies, what's your name? Uh, push approved. Clear left Clear side. Where you've got Jet Star Clear right, right side. Uh, copy, push and start approved, uh, beware of uh, traffic. And Sydney Tower Jet Star 456, ready to taxi. Uh, 456, you can taxi via Charlie Cross runway 25. Bravo 10, Sierra, Tango to the Tango 6 holding point for runway 3-4 right. Taxi via Charlie Cross uh, 25, uh, Bravo 10, Sierra, Tango to Tango 6 holding point for 3-4 right, just our 456. Here we go. Bravo, eight, taxi to domestic five. No, probably not the best idea to fly with wonky throttles. Um, we'll see how they are in the air. Second Bravo, crossing one way two five, Golf, holding short Charlie, two forty four. Right, so coming out there. Oh, I'm gonna get lost. I'm so gonna get lost. Uh, I'm already unsure of where. Uh, okay, there's Charlie, which looks Boeing like it's straight zero, ahead. Tango Charlie, you can taxi via Golf. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, think, uh, I think we're going to be all right. <laughs> I think. Hold short of Charlie. Okay, we'll go uh, Golf and we'll hold short of Charlie. Yeah, is there a Tango Charlie? Let me just stop here a sec and double check. Course the eleven thirty-seven. Also ready for taxi. 
Yeah, that's Charlie, Charlie straight ahead. Straight ahead. Charlie, Charlie, Bravo 10. Position. Yeah, uh, sounds good. Sounds good. I know where we're going now. It's all good. How does it see that it's clear right side? Oh, it's just a dialogue. It doesn't actually, yeah, he doesn't actually know what he's doing. Flight time today is about an hour each way. Hello, uh, Milosh, welcome. How are you? Stick the strobe on as we cross the runway. You live near Palm Beach. Oh. Where's um, where's Palm Bay, Beach in rela in relation to Byron Marshall, Bay? Runway three four left. Climb via the speed to five thousand. Call one two zero two and departure frequency one two five decimal zero. Hang on. Alrighty, we're going to Los Angeles on Glen Roof. We need to departure runway three four left. And we can turn the strobe back to auto now that we've crossed. Zero two and departure one two five decimal zero. Corner seventy four seventy four. I think. Corner seventy four seventy four. Thanks. Yeah, a magical mystery tour of Sydney Airport. Sydney Tower UPS 39 AV, ready to taxi. UPS 39 it's easy, AV, straight on down the left Alpha side. Thank you, Dingo. If we get lost, blame the FO. <laughs> Sydney Tower to start 3300 ready taxi. Star 337, stand by. UPS 39, did you receive my call? Yes, sir. Uh, taxi, yeah, Getting a few stutters, but four. nothing too bad. Uh, don't hear the next uh, command. Oh, that's and cool. holding point, the 3 4 left, 4 that's 3 really 3 cool. 9 yep, Alpha 6 holding point for 3 4 left, thanks. Alpha 6 to holding point, 3 4 left, 4 UPS 39 eight. Oh, Palm Beach is close to Sydney. Ah, right, right, right. They're trying to make Gold Coast Highway a trendy area with cafes and stuff, and all the new apartment buildings is absolutely zero consideration for parking. Yeah, I can imagine. November 5 Bravo 10's Charlie. the next left. Uh, you can turn on to Charlie, cross runway 25, and hold short uh, the lever holding point for a 3 left. Okay, yeah, can listen to Charlie, we quit across 25 and we'll hold at the Lima point for runway uh, 3 uh, Have you set the local pressures app? Because it reads it, or it's supposed to read it off here at least. Uh, when 50 Tango Charlie uh, turns off to Charlie, you can continue on golf to your base. Continue on golf is fine. I did remember to check out the, I did by coincidence remember to check out the highway errors. <laughs> Velocity eleven thirty seven and jet star three three seven, I'll give you a taxi down shortly. Copy two three seven. So we're gonna make the next right onto Tango. Well onto Sierra and then Tango. Yeah. Correct. I can totally deal with this taxiing lark. <laughs> You're my passengers, Kai. You try and be my first officer from time to time, but no, really, really. And Jet Star 426, uh, that is right. <laughs> uh, Jet Star 426, you'll be number three. Oh, Jet Star number three, yeah, uh, 426. Oh, Rip Ben. Did you hello, Connor 75. Didn't 57. manage to block me in, and now you're number three. <laughs> you love the atmosphere Corner in Gold Coast at the beach, but you feel like it's too touristy, right? Yeah. Runway 3 4 left, Clidlane, on the 7550. Oh, it is nice being back in MSFS, it really is. Look at these ships over there. And the water, the waves on the water. It's just good. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's worth trying to boot one out at least. How's that? Golf, Charlie. Are we there? Very nearly. Uh, no, my gosh, we're taking off uh, Sierra, three or five right. Tango, to the Tango six holding point. Sorry, three four, four right. Four right. Taxi via Golf, Charlie, cross runway two five. It is, isn't it, uh, Ribbon? Welcome, by the way. Good to see you there. Sierra Tango, holding short Tango six for three four right. Eleven thirty seven.
Jetstar 337, you can taxi via... Before Charlie. takeoff checklist. Cross runway two Flight five. controls. Checked. Bravo 10, Sierra Checked. Tango. Flight Tango instruments. Point Checked. Three, Checked. Briefing. Confirmed. Flat setting. Config 1 plus F set. Uh, taxi by Charlie Cross Config runway 25, uh, Bravo V1, 10. V2, flex uh, Sierra... 131, 132, 136, flexing 5 9 degrees. V1, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 6, flex temp 5 9 degrees, ATC. Set. ECAM memo. Take off no blue. Takeoff no blue. Down to the line. Roger, that's 2 1 So we're going to holding point Tango 6, which is the one at the end. Awesome. <laughs> You've got me, Jenny. You got me. <laughs> Willie, hello. <laughs> Time for a career change. What for you? What's happening? Get start 291. Uh, yeah, I'm very well, thank you. I'm very well. I've just come to the end of a hell of a week at work. Bravo 10. And it's very good to be doing some flying again. Tango to the Tango 6 holding point for runway 34 right. Taxi via Charlie. Yeah, it is, Matt. I wouldn't even wait for the next update. It's it's working well at the moment. Touch wood. Touch wood. Oh, that was bumpy. So the wind shock, windsock is showing a left crosswind. November 50, Tango Charlie, can you accept a Lima uh, intersection departure? Actually, no, we need a Alpha 6. 03017. Uh, November 50, Tango Charlie, you can cross 34 left and uh, taxi on Alpha to the Alpha 6 holding point. Uh, cross 34 left, uh, Alpha, Alpha 6 hold, uh, 0 Tango Charlie, thanks. So, 060, yeah, the windsock's the wrong way around, but. Um, Mind. <laughs> UPS 39, you can follow the uh, 737 crossing runway 34 left now. And here we are at the hold. Now I'm not going to push him for takeoff well, clearance because uh, I wouldn't mind having a little read of the SID chart. Or someone in the chat can tell me. Do we get handed off to um, departure here or do we contact we them uh, by ourselves? The 7557, you can taxi by Alpha, cross runway Do not five. turn left. Okay, thank you. okay, won't do that. I can take Alpha and cross runway 25 to the bay, corner 7557. Doesn't say anything, but I could have read the airport Velocity notes before starting, I suppose. You can taxi via He'll tell me, thank you. Golf, Charlie, cross runway 25. Bravo, and we're expecting 125.0, I Tango think, which is Melbourne Centre. Yeah. Taxing via Golf, Charlie, cross runway 25, Bravo, 10, Sierra, Tango, holding point, Tango, 6, 3, 4, right, velocity cut, 3, 1, thanks. And test off for 26, where are we in the uh, key taxi? Uh, jet star 426, say again, was that a uh, requesting taxi? Uh, AFM, I think we're in the queue, um, but I'm not sure. Jet star 426. Uh, apologies, uh, it's been a few <laughs> going in the queue. Um, <laughs> Jet Star 426. Uh, you could follow velocity 1141, that will be past the queue. Imagine that, imagine uh, being the controller Charlie that forgets about Ben Flightzilla. Uh, no, Dwell, this is the. Um, this is the. Um, fly Temper, Fly Temper Sydney scenery. Not a problem, there's uh, <laughs> quite, a few, quite a few aircraft to handle, uh, so it's following the velocity 1141. This week can go uh, to like hell. Charlie, oh god, we'll have to, we'll have to talk 10. about this yeah, at some point, really. I'm sorry to hear that. Sucks. Tango, six, four, three, four, right. Just that far, if I get your socks the wrong way around. Turn <laughs> left into the pathway of 3 4 left. <laughs> Thanks, Melon. Uh, hello, V Pilot, how are you? Long time no see, welcome. The giveaway question will be announced after takeoff. Uh, I normally do them once we're in the air. So once we've done our uh, after takeoff climb checklist, basically. 
Oh, should we give him a nudge? I don't know. Yeah, let's give him a nudge. I kind of... Yeah, we need a bit of spacing anyway. I don't really know where everyone else is. Not there yet, but uh, presumably not far off. Jeff Boy, boss, welcome. How are you? Uh, this is Sydney, Wilster, we're at at the moment. Now, I'll wait for him to respond to whoever that was, and then I'll uh, badge in. Oh, no, no. Uh, station it's very early on the flight. Zero Tango Charlie. Uh, zero Tango Charlie, runway 34 left, cleared for takeoff, and uh, make a left turn uh, 300. Clear for takeoff, uh, left turn heading 300, Boeing Zero Tango Charlie ship. Sydney Tower, Jetstar 456, uh, holding short of. Uh, three four right at Tango Six. Jeff Star four fifty six runway three four right clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff three four right Jeff Star four fifty six. Thank you. Okay, so nose light to take off and strobe lights to on. And, uh, on my turn off. Cabin Charlie, crew be seated for takeoff. Okay, we'll push Approach the path and, uh, clear of traffic. Thank you very much, sir. Take care. Get uh, 456, same for you. Contact departure airborne, have a good one. Contact departure airborne, uh, and thanks very much for the ATC, Jetstar 456, bye bye. Ignoring fuel ops. Jetstar 291, uh, you may have taken a wrong turn there, looks like. Below the line. Yes, Cabin crew. Advise. TCAS. TARA. Engine mode selector. Okay, Normal. You're on Bravo at the moment. You can continue on Bravo. Packs. On. on Bravo. Before takeoff checklist complete. Ready. Ready. Take off. Check. Stand the thrust levers up. Engine stable. Jetstar 327 ready thrust for set. immediate departure. Manflex 59, SRS runway auto thrust blue. Checked. 100 knots. Never mind, Jetstar is number 2. V1, rotate. Positive climb. Gear up. Autopilot 1 on. Here up. And we're off. And there's presumably Ian and uh, presumably Simon, I think. Taxiing out. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. And we'll contact departure. Well, so I'd rather turn Thrust levers back to climb. Melbourne Centre, good evening. Jetstar 456 climbing through 2,900 feet on the Entra 5 departure. Jetstar 456, Sydney, g'day, identified. Fire via Sydney, Fire Climb via SID, flight level 280, Jetstar 456, thank you. Wait, let me just check there are no constraints at or below. No, there are not, it's fine. Not in the FS labs now. <laughs> and we get a beautiful look at the uh, Sydney CBD as we depart which I've literally never flown over before, so that's quite exciting. This is the uh, Orbex Cityscape Sydney scenery, for those of you who are wondering. Thank you, Dingo. <laughs> Absolute money shot, yeah. That could be your desktop, yeah, I know, it's stunning. It? I hope my uh, screen captures are working. Oh, they're not. 
I have not managed to get either of those shots because um, NVIDIA overlay is not working. That is a bummer. Never mind. Much prefer the IAE V2500. Do you, Whiskey? Yeah, fair enough. I can see why. I quite like this. I quite like the sound they make. Flap zero. Speed checked. Checked. Checked? What's checked? Finish clutches all over. Let's see, let's take a third airborne. A 3-4 right, passing 1300. Let's see, let's 37. Sydney, good day. Flaps zero. Climb by Sid to bottom. Two eight zero. Climb by Sid, flight level two eight zero. Four Sid level twenty seven. Five zero Tango Charlie, turn right, heading one two zero. Just hit print screen. Yeah, but then it'll get all the crap that I've got on top of my sim. Sorry, right, I can move that out of the way. You're right. It's a bit late. It's a bit late, but never mind. That's still a nice shot. After takeoff, climb checklist. Landing gear. Up. Flaps. Retracted. Tax. On. Down to the line. And we're just passing through the transition altitude of 10,000 feet, so we'll set standard. Set standard. Standard, cross checked, passing flight level 105. Now. Check. Below the line. Barrow ref. Standard set. Standard set. After takeoff, climb checklist complete. Seatbelts off. Nice. Not a bad, not a bad little departure. That. Um. Really should get above ten thousand feet someday. Now you should, Lord Daxon. You should. It's a whole new world up here, whole new world. And I've also recently installed the Seafront Simulations uh, global shipping add-on. So uh, we may get to see some ships. I was hoping to have seen some ships by now, but... Uh, there is a chance I just didn't activate them in uh, add-ons I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what we see. Right, alt print screen, yeah, should have, should have done that straight away. Never mind, we got to see the views. We'll probably see more views on the way back, maybe. Although we'll be landing the other way. And we'll just clear the discontinuity. After entry. And that's all good. Right, I've totally missed a lot of the chat here. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the giveaway because it's only a short flight so I want to give you plenty of time to enter. So before we do it I just need to uh, advise you to read the terms and conditions which are linked to in the video description and also that YouTube is not a sponsor of this competition. Uh, the terms and conditions below apply in addition uh, to the YouTube, um, what do they call it? Community standards I think. Uh, so check those out as well before you enter. As I said earlier, we're giving away two copies today of Ozscene's uh, Ballina scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator. And to be with a chance of winning, you have to answer uh, a question. So there's going to be one question on this leg and one question on the way out, on the way back. So the first question is... Wait, I should start the giveaway first. Yeah, no, the first question is... What is the Byron Bay area called in the local Aboriginal language? What is the Byron Bay area called in the local Aboriginal language? Type the answer to that in the chat for your chance to win. And uh, the winner will be drawn after we land and have shut down the engines. Good luck to all of you. There was a sale. Oh, was there? Oh, that's good. Yeah. No, that's a different ship's add-on, Jenny. So the, the ship's add-on that was causing me trouble um, is the freeware global ships AI traffic from flightsim.to which is why which is why I bought the um, payware one I thank you host thank you 
It's okay, welcome, welcome. Better late than never, don't you worry. Yeah, no, no one panic. Different, different shipping add-on. Just uh, 337 climb to flight to 115. Climb to 150, Jetstar 327. Jeff boy, I've missed some of your chat as well, that's unacceptable. Look to my right. Did I look to my right? I don't know. I think I did. <laughs> Sydney's why is, this, why is nothing if not beautiful. No, it is. I know, I know. I'm glad you had no French today, Jeff. So, yeah, lots of reminders about the city and I, I missed them all, but I did remember. Ignoring fuel ops like a bad boy. I still don't know what you meant by that, Christopher. You lost me. And Willie, you've lost me as well. I'm just not in touch with what the hell's going on today at all. <laughs> okay, I think I've caught up with the most recent stuff. If I've missed anything, then do say it again. Ah, yes, of course. There are two possible spellings. And I did foresee this, but it's okay. Uh, 456, contact centre now, 133.0. What was that? Centre on 133.0 for Jetstar 456. Thanks, bye bye. One three three decimal zero. Centre, good evening, Jetstar 456, climbing through uh, flight level 231 for flight level 280, inbound Banda. Jetstar 456, Brisbane Centre, get a climb, flight level 390. I'm flight level 390, Jetstar 456. It's awesome having so much ATC in Australia. Never had this before. Okay, let me just go and tick some boxes. <laughs> I decided most people would choose the spelling I had gone for, and they didn't. So I have to tick a lot of boxes by hand, but that's okay. That's okay. It's worth working for this. After the initial sorry, I'm sure things will uh, will slow down a little bit. So after the prize is drawn, you've got 24 hours in which to send me the email address of yours, which is registered on Orbex Direct, uh, along with your YouTube username. If you don't get back to me within 24 hours, then it will be given away to a random member of my Discord server, which is lucky for them, but unlucky for you. And the last two prizes were given away that way because the winners didn't get in touch. So. Hello, the 1137 is with you. Climbing through flight level 223, inbound banda. What's the 1137? And only enter. Climb flight level 350. Climb flight level 350. Hello, what's the 1137? Thanks. Venom films. Next question only has one um, answer, which will be or only one spelling, which is going to make my life a lot easier. <laughs> Center UPS uh, 39 AV, which you can link to uh, to five zero. UPS 39, Brisbane Center, hello, climb Please only enter once, or I will Christian never be able to speak to you. <laughs> Cool. Fun fact, traditional people... Thank you, uh, thank you for your help, uh, really. <laughs> Uh, fun fact, traditional people of Byron regard it as a non-livable place. Uh, oh, uh, really? At, uh, five that one is an interesting fact. Star 337, uh, Brisbane Centre, G'day, climb to flight level 270. Hello, uh, Dan, welcome, how are you? 
How was my day in Ampelanti? It's been good, thank you. It's been my first day off for a long time, so yeah, I really enjoyed it. Did an overnight flight in the 747 from, uh, um, uh, where did we go? Cape Town back to uh, Heathrow, which was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, other than that, I've been chilling, getting set up for the screen, so yeah, it's been good. Christopher, you upgraded and there were no fireworks? This is madness. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't blame you for downgrading instantly. I just, I don't think. Did you do that during the stream or did you do that beforehand? Anyway, thank you. Either way, thank you very, very much indeed for, uh, for upgrading. That's uh, much appreciated. Club Filbert Silver from Club Filbert Bronze. Oh yeah, I see the notification. I see it in the chat. But yeah, upgrades apparently apparently don't get any uh, bells or whistles um, but I tell you what seeing as it's you and you've been a member for a long time I will create my own bells and whistles just for you welcome to Club Filbert Silver <laughs> oh dear you put both spell it oh don't worry don't worry love band that's alright that's alright uh, Daryl, welcome, how are you? Airborne, excellent news, Ian. Welcome to the skies. Um, and, uh, yeah, welcome to any of the rest of you who have turned up since I said hello to everyone at the beginning. It's lovely to have you all here. We're flying today from uh, Sydney to Ballina Byron Bay and back again. And we're giving away two copies of Ossine's uh, Ballina Scenery. And to enter, you have to answer the following question in the chat, uh, which is... What is the Byron Bay area called in the local Aboriginal language? And if you use two Vs, you'll save me a lot of effort. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. I, I tend to agree with you there, but I don't like to put pressure on people, especially those who have just upgraded to silver. Um, but I should tell people what this Club Filbert thing's all about, seeing as we've got one new member and one upgrade already this stream. It'd be lovely uh, if more of you chose to join. So Club Filbert is my YouTube membership program, works a bit like a Twitch subscription. You give me a little bit of money each month and in return you get certain perks. So you get access, for example, to exclusive private members only channels on my Discord. You get um, custom emojis, custom members only badges next to your name in the chat and the YouTube comments. Uh, and that's all just at your basic Club Filbert bronze level for £1.99 a month. Club Filbert Silver, well worth joining. In addition to that, you get a monthly private members only live stream and group flight. Last time uh, we had a really nice uh, flight. Um, I remember really enjoying it. Don't remember where we were temporarily. Where were we? Um, oh, we were in Brazil. It was Steve. It was Steve Scouse's trip around Brazil, which was awesome. Uh, did some tricky landings, uh, saw Rio, saw Sao Paulo, saw some absolutely stunning scenery. Uh, so yeah, that's a, that's a perk of Club Filbert Silver. And then for gold, you get to talk to me in the voice chat after every single stream. We have a little debrief. And uh, additionally, you get to help vote on. Uh, you get to help decide where I'm going to fly the following week by taking part in a vote. So loads of good perks, very cheap. Um, join up by pressing the join button below if you'd like to. Alternatively, if you don't want to commit to a monthly thing, it's fair enough. Uh, you can make a donation instead via streamlabs.com slash filbertflies. And if you don't want to do anything with money, that's also absolutely fine. Uh, but please do subscribe to the channel and click the thumbs up button beneath the video. That is also very helpful. That's it. That's the sales pitch done. Um, on the descent. So if you join, for I can't guarantee that, uh, Rajiv. It's not a published benefit. But it might happen. <laughs> it might happen. Who's on descent, or should I be on descent? I should start thinking about my descent at least, I think, uh, because it is only a one hour flight. Um, so we're going for a runway six arrival. Let me just check the net up because it may, the winds may have changed, but that was the case before. 0906. Cool, that will be uh, runway six, obviously. No ILSs, unfortunately. Um, so, it's going to be an RNAV today. Don't know which one. <laughs> it's going to be a good one. Ah, oh, there's Ben. So, we've got Ian with us, we've got Ben with us, we've got Simon. A couple of others who I've definitely forgotten. 
Brisbane said, I get a climb low this way, can you climb straight there to stop off and check that? So looking at the x-ray, we can go via a palmy, which is kind of nice, kind of a nice gentle turn. Uh, or we can go via Opeso, which is weird. So yeah, we're going to go do the Arnav X-ray via Opami, I think. Let's just have a quick look at the chart before just committing. Chart yeah, it looks good to me. So we'll go to the flight plan page, which we're already on. YBNA, arrival, Arnav X-ray 06. Oh, me. We'll insert that, and I'm fairly confident that the plane won't do anything stupid with the new uh, custom flight plan manager, and it hasn't, which is really good news. I think we may have to tweak our flight plan a little bit. Let's just uh, step through it, because I feel that that Apami waypoint is actually prior to our last one. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit weird just looking. Two ninety one Brisbane. So we want to go to a Palmy. Kind of, yeah, we don't want to go to BNA, do we? Yeah, so we delete uh, BNA. 337, climb flight level 330. Climb 330, uh, just 327. So we'll delete BNA. Obviously, we'll delete YBNA. I don't know why it would put that in there before our arrival. That's weird. <laughs> and then we'll get rid of the discontinuity and we'll go from Banda to Apami. I'm talking like there's no ATC on that, of course. Um, but it's fine because Apami is basically on the way to BNA. So we'll be out of their airspace before we get there, I believe, unless there's new ATC on that and I haven't spotted. Which could throw a spanner in the works. Just uh, 426. Climb, flight level 330. Flight level 330, just that one. So I don't normally mind where I am in the uh, position when, when people fly along with me, but I have to say that today I'm very glad to be in front because there's only like three stands or something like that at, um, <laughs> at Ballina. So someone, at least one person, is going to have to park on the grass. It's, it's not going to be me, which is good. Let's just get the taxi and parking chart up. And we'll look at our altitude constraints. So we want to be at 3,200 feet. After we pass Opami, no, at Opami, in fact. 3,200 feet. So we we'll use the old fly pad to calculate our top of descent there. Hello, Seared Lamb. Sorry, I missed you. Welcome to the stream. You descended 100, ah, 100 nautical miles 1, from Opami. Right, to go. that sounds about right. Oh, you chose the same uh, start, uh, arrival. That's encouraging. Right, 3,200. So that's showing that we want to start to send 110 nautical miles before uh, a permit. Should we have a few tunes? This feels this all felt a little bit rushed. I think it's time now to chill out. Have a little bit of background music, maybe a little bit of jazz. I'm feeling some jazz. And uh, yeah. Terrain and TCAS is not, that is correct. It's not functional. Oh, thank you, Dingo. Thank you. I've just seen your, uh, your message there. Just have to catch up with a few of these entries. Have you anyone confirm tracking direct bandit to your at your one o'clock? Remember, you must be subscribed to be in with a chance of winning uh, in the, the, the giveaway. Oh, 
stations and toy sleepers is now closing on a community complex. Thank you. Thanks for the ATC. Bye-bye. Thanks. 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 Thank you. Bye-bye. She's <laughs> proof. <laughs> now, that was the perfect time. Someone someone got in there before me and gave me the idea. But there we are. And you don't have to be subscribed as a member. No, you don't. Uh, you have to be subscribed to the channel as a YouTube subscriber. Byron Shire says, Blues is the music of choice. <laughs> Maybe some blues on the way back. Byron Bay Blues Fest is quite... A oh, is it? Oh, we should absolutely have some blues then. Absolutely have some blues. So alt cruise is when you're at your cruising altitude. Alt star is when an altitude is going to be captured. And alt is when you've set an altitude that isn't your cruising altitude and it has been captured. Yeah, I'm using experimental. Imagine if we really could listen to Jesse in the cockpit. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, Thomas, Thomas, thank you very much for uh, subscribing. Welcome to the channel. How's your flight going when they finally let you taxi, Ben? Are you, uh, you're, you got it? Oh, it was you got it in, was it? Good. <laughs> it's true. It's weird that we haven't heard any before, uh, before Ben started it off, wouldn't it, really? It was nice. I know. I didn't expect it either. It was a nice treat. Nice treat. Nothing to do. It felt, felt like quite an intense departure, actually. But uh, yeah, we're all right. We can have a look at some pretty views. You keep your eye out for boats as well, of course. Beautiful. Did I hear about Jet 2 dumping their 737MG fleet? I, I heard about them buying A321 units. I didn't know that they were replacing this one. It's good news, I feel. James, good, I'm okay. good. Alright, he only made two aircraft taxi through me and then Simon go ahead and... <laughs> Seriously, two aircraft went straight through you. <laughs> oh, what a stinker. Still, all part of the joy of uh, flight scene. <laughs> Hello Ivan, welcome, how are you? I've never flown with Gen 2, but I would quite like to, especially if they're going to be flying as we Gen 2 one years. That's a noisy out there, isn't it? A bit of wing view. Careful! <laughs> it is Kai. Way ahead of you. Way ahead of you. <laughs> of course, if I'd followed Dingo's advice about six months ago and set up custom camera views outside the aircraft, we could have interior noise outside, but I didn't, so we can't. He cleared the taxi even though you were blocking the taxiway, and they didn't, they didn't stop, they didn't wait for you. <laughs> Yet I thought they might have queried it. <laughs> they might have said, actually, there's a plane in front of me. <laughs> Hello Nguyen, welcome to the stream, how are you?
They are, they are, Christopher. That uh, that Max has done them no favours, has it? Was one of them Ian? <laughs> that is brilliant. If one of them was Ian. <laughs> Mind you, which stand were you on, Ben? Because I, you're on five eight, right? Because I didn't actually check where five eight was, but if it was next to me, oh no, I did see you. It was the one just out of, out of me. Yeah, no, I could see you. I thought maybe you just weren't appearing for some reason. But you are, you were. The overlay is uh, Ben A overlay. There's a link in the video description, so it's a streaming overlay. I don't see it in the sim. But if you're a streamer, I'd recommend it. I'm from uh, from London in the UK. Yeah. yeah, it's true. There's been a fair few uh, fair few boo boos. Harry, Harry, with the fifty pound donation. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. Did someone say Australia stream? <laughs> Thank you. It's very very generous of you, as as always, and uh, very much appreciated. Thank you. You saw people taxiing through, but no standards out here. You'd suggest beginning descent at about 120 miles out. Okay, thank you, Dingo. Yeah, I would have assumed maybe I'd left AI traffic on or something. I wouldn't expect people to do that. Music's putting you to sleep, not that you're complaining. 4M start at work. Oh, I know the feeling. You know the feeling. Oh, I'm glad you got to work. Actually, I don't, that's not true. I don't know the feeling. I don't start at 4am. I get up at 4.30am. And uh, that is plenty early enough for me. 58 years, so cleared you to push, then need to taxi right behind. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, no, that isn't normal. It's true. I was surprised he cleared you to push, and I thought, I'll, I'll get out of the way. But yeah, I did remark upon that. Mentally. <laughs> That's because Boeing refused to invest in a new short mid range Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's true. It's true. Am I using the group flight feature of Volanda Premium? I have used it. I am in a party. Um, but if, I, assuming that's what you mean, where you see each other on the map. Uh, <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, we're on VATSIM, if, if that's why, if that's what you... Uh, oh, you know, you're, you're flying with this, aren't you? Oh, boy, dear. I haven't set up a party. Maybe I'll do it on the ground while we wait for other people to land. We're from Vietnam, and today's Viet Independence Day. Oh, happy Independence Day, Nguyen. Mm -hmm. And I'm really sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. I probably am. We're going to play some City Guesser. Nice. Oh, Kappa. <laughs> Don't you worry, JT Brothers. I'm glad you made this one. Welcome. <laughs> So Dingo reckons we should start down at 120 nautical miles. This reckons we should start down at 112 nautical miles. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow Dingo's advice. We'll start down a little early, and we'll start down now, down to uh, 15,000 feet. How come you're not on Vatsim, Dingo? Actually, you used to do Vatsim, didn't you? Am I not in your party? Have you left have you left our party and set up your own party? Oh no, I see stuff. Stuff is happening. <laughs> You're gonna join in the return flight. Awesome Sanjeev, good news. Oh don't you worry Ian, don't you worry. Have you made it in the end or no? You were taxiing, right? Moradin, Simon. Oh yeah, you have made it, yeah. Oh, you're talking about taxiing through Ben. I'm curious though, Ian. I mean, I'm not here to judge, but um, what, what are the sort of technical problems that, that make you taxi through another aircraft?
<laughs> Just landed into Bristol. Landed. What? What? Who the hell is this? You know the old saying that everything in life is better when you take a triple seven with you? Very pog plane, massive engine. No! That's too much! £101.60! Who the hell? Who is that? Is that you, Simon? Is that you, Simon, with £101? That's crazy money! Crazy money! But thank, thank you! I don't have words for donations of that amount. It's just phenomenal. Just phenomenal. I think I think it's Simon. It can only be Simon, surely. Anyway, thank you so so much. I don't know what to say. Thank you. My Australia streams always go off. They yeah, they they do. They don't always go off to this extent though. You think Ben? <laughs> no way! Harry! <laughs> Allow yourself to be outdone. You've donated so, so much um, over the last... Excuse me, I will not be outdone. <laughs> it's okay to be outdone once in a while. My God. Thank you. Thank you again. I'm so, I'm just so humbled by the amount of, I don't know, by the crazy big donations people are giving me. It's, it's, it's phenomenal. Thank you. I am rich now and I am totally going to buy the 777 now as well. I don't know, Willie. I don't know. It is getting out of control. <laughs> it really is. The donation war has begun. <laughs> Oh, gosh, I'm all hot and sweaty now. Don't know what to say. You're all wonderful people, thank you. However much you donate, whether it's, you know, a couple of quid or a, or a hundred quid or, you know, it's it's just, it's very, very nice of all of you. Thank you. We're almost to one million. <laughs> we, we're not kind. <laughs> Both legends, Simon. Both you and Harrison. Absolute legends. Last donation you give for a while. Thank you. It was you. I thought it was you. Thank you so much, sir. You must come and fly with me in the 777. Um, from Captain Sim... No, 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 no. The PMDG for P3D. I might even get it straight after this stream and do another overnight. Is that crazy? It's probably crazy, but I might do it anyway. <laughs> You're about, Simon. I haven't had a stream where I've made that much for... Possibly ever. Possibly ever. Oh, Willie, thank you. Your poor but won't be left out. You don't... Honestly, no one must ever feel obliged to give me money because I don't want to feel left out. Everyone has different financial situations and uh, the last thing I want is to make poor people poorer uh, for the sake of my pockets. But but thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Two pounds super chat. Much appreciated. Um, $140 should basically be 160 so that should be enough for the PMDG at the long range. And yeah, it should. It should. Simon, you're a little treasure. I really, really like what you've done there. Thank you. Babita, hello, welcome. I'm very well, thank you. How are you? How are you? Always in for overnight. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're coming, Harry. I mean, it's not overnight for you, of course, but... Like over day flight for you maybe <laughs> except for roping people into club into the club this is a, this is a day for history kai it really is it really is 
What do you mean except for roping people into the club? I rope nobody into the club. I always say, I always say, I don't want children giving me their pocket money and I don't want people to join Club Philbert if they can't afford to join Club Philbert. I always say that. Right, we should do something. <laughs> I, feel, I feel I've got carried away. Yes, what we should do is enter the destination data on the uh, Perf Approach page. So we'll get the latest meta just in case anything has changed. Uh, we've got wind 090 at 6. Uh, we've got a temperature of 18. And we have a QNH of 1029. Cabin uh, crew. Transition altitude. Ooh, we have no SID charts for Belima, so I don't know. Does it say on the aerodrome chart what the transition altitude might be? I'm going to use 10,000, unless anyone else has uh, a better idea of what the transition level is at uh, Bellina. And for the RNAV X-ray, the minimum is... 350. It's a relatively short runway here. Um, in fact, it is only 1,900 metres. So we're going to use auto brake medium, and we're going to use maximum reverse on the ground as well. Uh, we are just passing through 18,000, flight over 180. Going to check against this, how our descent's going, 40 nautical miles. Yeah, got loads of time to play with. And hopefully, with the new flight plan manager, it will um, fly the uh, um, arrival absolutely perfectly. Obviously not with VNAV, but... Um, You get pocket money, so you might donate in ten years. Good. Well, I look forward to it, JT. You can't. You remember me when you're when you're working and earning millions. <laughs> you can confirm you're a child, and you can confirm you were manipulated. <laughs> not once, not once, Tom. Did I? Uh, did I even suggest you join Club Football? But obviously, it's lovely to have you uh, in it. Oh yeah, I'm not having children. <laughs> that's why. That's what I'm doing for 10,000 uh, subscribers, Jenny. I'm going to get all of my donations out of the bank in cash. I'm going to scatter them over my living room. <laughs> Do a little video of me rolling around in them. Spot on. Uh, no, I don't have the ATR. No, I don't. 10,000. Thank you. Can you do shared cockpit on MSFS 2020? Yes, in fact, I've done it. Uh, ben and I did uh, a shared cockpit stream a little while back. Um, it's kind of hit and miss. Sometimes it works really well, sometimes it doesn't. If you want to give it a go, you need to. You need a, a free utility called Your Controls. Standard transition is 10,000. Cool, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so, oh, we've got a dissenting voice from Whiskey 153. I think it's 6,000. We'll use 10,000. The approach chart doesn't show it. No. <gasps> Benny Boy! Oh, Ben. And what is a triple seven? 777 without an EFB kappa? Ben! Well, it's a fair question. It's a fair question. <laughs> Oh, you're all too kind. You're all, I don't deserve this. I Honestly, I don't deserve this amount of money for pretending to fly planes on a computer. I really don't. Um, but thank you. Thank you so much. Should have stuck in the fly by our dev bill boss. It directs you straight to the runway. <laughs> That's true, Scott. You've returned from lunch. Welcome back, William. We're doing well. We're doing well. Uh, people keep giving me obscene amounts of money, and it, it, it's... Yeah, it's it, it's making me sort of embarrassed, but um, yeah, you're all you're all lovely. Thank you, Kai. I look forward to your birthday then. <laughs> oh, you think it's we're flight level one one zero going down? Okay, okay. Uh, we're going to stick here for a little bit longer because we are we don't need to be any lower and we don't need to lose speed. 
Um, yes, it is, uh, Sanjeev, correct. Or you'll wait 10 years. Either way, Kai, either's fine with me. Thank you, uh, the Invoker. Thank you very much. Oh, there's nothing worse than a stringy steak sandwich. There's nothing worse. Also, I agree with Dwell. <laughs> oh, it does say on the RNAV chat. Okay, thank you, Lapa. SSD, SSD, SD, thank you very much for the sub. Welcome to the channel. That'll be for Club Film <laughs> Platinum, yeah. <laughs> so many donos, I know, I know. A croc, monsieur? Not, not ham and cheese toasty, William, no. Not for you, not for the likes of you. A croc, monsieur. <laughs> Donate, hi. Get on board. <laughs> No, I won't. I won't play um, a didgeridoo song, Ample, because Harrison informed me that it's 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 not okay to play didgeridoo music without the blessing of, of Aboriginal elders, and that it's kind of a little bit cultural appropriation. -y. So I don't I don't play any didgeridoo music on my Aussie streams for that reason. Uh, Brownie gnome, Linus, 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 welcome. How are you? This is insane. I can't keep up with the chat either. Never mind the donations. Um. Thank you, Gibby. That's kind of you to say. Is there a bug with Streamlabs? No, I don't. Not that I know of. On the bus on your way home from school. Awesome. You're at the right end of the uh, school day. Please hear it. You, you check the approach chart for YBN. It plainly says ten thousand for the transition. You're right. You're absolutely right. It says. In fact, it doesn't. It says flight level one one zero. I didn't see that for looking. Okay, let's uh, continue our descent now down to uh, 3,200 feet and I think I'm, I'm just going to have to accept that I can't keep up with all the chat right now and fly the plane. So I'm going I'm to do my best to do both but my apologies if I miss some of what you say. I'm on 1029. 1029 is set. Oh, we have to wait till we actually pass the transition level before he'll answer me. Checked. Uh, checked what? Do I intend to buy a real one now, a 320? <laughs> I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. <laughs> so no. But I'd love one. You could, Dingo. You could. If ever you fancy that. You could do that. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Willie. Hello, Arnav. Welcome to the stream. Nice to have you here. Lord Daxon, five, five Australian dollars. Thank you so much. Very, very kind of you. This is, this is a crazy, crazy situation. The amount of money I'm in today. Thank you all very much. First off, this is counting money. <laughs> and a delayed notification. There it is. Dare. <laughs> it is indeed. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, now let's see. Yes, now he'll listen to me. QNH1029 are set. <laughs> he, he, he's not listening to me. I'm saying exactly what he says I have to say to him. QNH1029 set. One zero two are. nine set. Passing eight thousand six hundred. Now checked. Approach checklist. Briefing. Confirmed. Ecam status. Checked. Seat belts on. Barrow ref. One zero two nine set. One zero two nine set minimum. Three five zero feet set. Sitira with another set. donation. Engine Sitira, thank selected. you so much, and I'm very well. Hi, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Bless you for that. Very kind indeed. Still 
can't take the money. <laughs> Dear. You see, it could be, you could well be right, Kai. I wouldn't trust this man further than I could throw him. So we're still uh, about 30 miles out. <laughs> Indeed, well, couldn't agree more. It's raining money. He only has two hands and it takes time. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Willy, don't. <laughs> I think I've, I think I've made enough for today. To be honest. I tell you what, though, it's good to be streaming again. I've missed it. Star for today. There are no stars, so this is a, the sort of airport um, where you go straight from your um, en route section to uh, your approach. So we're doing the RNAV X-ray uh, for runway 06 today. Well, yeah, we're going to try anyway. I'm never confident doing RNAV approaches in the uh, A32 NX. Uh, we're expecting scattered cloud at 3,500, scattered cloud at 4,300, scattered cloud at 5,200, and winds of 090 at 6. And don't forget, if you haven't yet entered the competition and you would like to be in with a chance of winning a copy uh, of Ozzine's uh, Ballina Airport Scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator, um, you have until we shut down the engines at the stand uh, to answer the following question in the chat. Uh, what is the Byron Bay area called in the local Aboriginal language? It's a one word answer. And you'd be helping me out if you spelt it with two Vs. <laughs> you hope I'll make a butter. I know it's, it's added to the pressure manacle. It's added to the pressure. You overran and went into the river Dingo. Firstly, I'm sorry to hear that. Secondly, why did you have to tell me that? <laughs> I'm anxious enough. <laughs> Oh, it's pretty though, isn't it? It's pretty. I think you'll enter this one for when the phoenix comes out. Don't... I, I, I was really hoping after your flight in the A32NX the other day that you'd be a convert, but you're not. Oh, but it's, it's the livery issue for you, isn't it? Melon, thank you. Thank you very, very much. Another five Australian dollars. Thank you. Very, very kind of you. And uh, PLOS, PLOS? I'm going to say it's probably PLOS and not PLO555. Either way, thank you for the sub and, uh, and welcome to the channel. Nice to have you. For the people directly behind Phil, but there's some space between you lot and me, but not much between you. Maybe a bit of spacing would be good. Maybe. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, I never showed you the charts, did I? Uh, 1137, this is just our 337. I'm somewhere close to you, uh, descending from 7000 to 6800 right now. I'm at 210 knots. Yeah, there might if be some go around. Take me, go ahead. The main point of this airport is the amazing scenery about 30 miles inland, probably one of the best bush flying areas on the Australian east coast. Do you know, Glenn, my original plan, my original plan, was to do one leg and then to um, take a helicopter tour around. And then I thought that's going to be a bit much. Now we're doing the return as well. But at some point, we'll do a little group flight around here. And maybe, if you're about, maybe you could join us and show us around. That would be a lot of fun, I think. Gibi! <laughs> Gibi with the five Canadian dollars. Thank you very, very much. This is getting this is getting crazy now. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Ben. Well spotted. Um, what did Scott say? God, who needs Twitch with this level of hype on YouTube? 
Okay, we're going to slow down now. So we're going to activate the um, approach phase, which these days shouldn't take us straight to the runway, I hope. No, it isn't. Um, it's going to start getting some flat. Oh, Willy! <laughs> Another for another two pounds. Thank you. Thank you very much. Two of the four ramps are occupied at uh, right. Liam! Oh my god! This, I've never had a stream like that. I've never had a stream like this in my life. No, a uh, case doesn't matter. You are nicely. You're very kind indeed. Thank you very much. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, treat me doesn't capitals lowercase doesn't matter. It'll all be counted. Um, so, you s so there's a static, isn't there, at YBNA? And then I guess there must be another aircraft. Okay, so we want to be a maximum of one nine zero knots um, at this waypoint here after we turn the corner. So I think what we'll do. Oh my God! It's even got the speed constraint in there. How exciting! This is getting better and better, this plane. Um, flaps one. Hello? Flaps one. Flaps one. Oh, boss. Normal. Approach checklist. No, I didn't complete. complete the approach checklist. Flaps one. Flaps one. Speed check. There we are. There Flaps we are. One. Donation carnage. Yeah. Aboriginal name place of many stoned hippies. Unfaxed. <laughs> it's time to consider to go pub. What? What? Can we get five more before he left? Can we? I don't know, Willie. Can we? I don't like doing this sort of thing, but I know, I know a lot of people are expert at. Uh, yeah, that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? It'd be interesting to see. <laughs> Your information, vegetable animal. Okay, no, 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 no. very good, very good. Uh, Balliner is gorgeous. You have a few good stories to tell. Oh, nice. I'd like to hear them. Strike you with me and just throw me off my approach. Yes, and it'll work. And it'll work. You need to scream at him for a bit. I do. <laughs> I will be manually landing this bird, Arnav. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, because the approach that bears your name cannot yet be flown uh, <laughs> by the plane on autopilot. Flaps two. Speed check. Joining in this. Thank you, Dwyle. Thank you very much. Checked. Gear down. Flaps two. Radar altimeter alive. <laughs> okay, I need to start descending now. And we want to be descending on three degree, <laughs> three degree glide slope. <laughs> oh my god. I can't do it. I can't do it. Okay. <laughs> Can't see the runway. I don't know what's going on. We may end up going around and it's all your fault for all your donations. <laughs> Ballina traffic, Jetstar 456 established on final for uh, runway 06. Flaps 3. Speed checked. Oh, there it is. I can see it now. Flaps three. All right, let's hand fly this thing, shall we? Uh, Bellina traffic. Bellina traffic. Just our two three seven. Flaps four. Uh, approaching Speed November checked. Alpha four two zero for final. Flaps full. Cabin crew, be seated for landing. I feel like I'm a little high, but I don't know because obviously we don't have vertical guidance during the Arnav approach. Yeah. Landing checklist. Cabin crew. Advised. Auto thrust. Speed. Auto brake. Medium. Ecam memo. Landing no blue. Landing checklist complete. 
Thank you, Thanks. Willie, I think. <laughs> Harrison told me it was Harrison told me it was Balina. Balina. Yeah. Anyway, we all know what everyone means. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you. I don't see any pappies. I saw what I thought were pappies, but I don't think they are. Also, this is a very narrow runway, which means... It looks going to look different even when you're on the correct approach profile. So yeah, I don't have a huge amount of faith in myself here, but you know, we'll see what above. happens. I'll try, I'll try Brownie, I'll try. Hello Joe Punt. Sorry Jay, hello, welcome. Maybe they are Minimum. puppies. Continue. Who do you wants? think I am? Oh. Yeah, now it feels like we're very low. 100. This is a tyres on tarmac jobby, of course, short runway, not worried 50, about butter. 40, 30, 20, retard, 5. Spoilers, reverse, green, decel. Well, so don't you look silly now, Kai? <laughs> Good. Uh, right, now I need to um, get off. Why is it stopping? Lane <laughs> traffic just R227 inbound three miles on final. Oh my goodness me. Uh, just R456 still on the runway. We'll do our best to backtrack and get out of your way. You did, you did, Lord Daxon. I should have trusted you. <laughs> Thank you, Dingo. Auto brake just loves stuff. It does, didn't it? Didn't used to. Should I go around? I think you're going to have to. My apologies. Wait until wait until the last minute. I might get off in time. The stopping performance does seem a bit exaggerated. Three two going around. Yeah, not enough spacing. Gunning it down the runway to get off. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> I can't hear who's talking now. And we're off. <laughs> Ballad of traffic, uh, Jetstar 456, clear of runway. Oh. <laughs> oh. Looks like I wasn't first. And it looks like there's nowhere to park. Anyway. Uh, strobe light off. Oh, he's already done it. Bless him. Sometimes I give him too little... Uh, I have Sometimes I have too little faith in him. So this is Balina, Byron Gateway. Oh no, there is a stand over there looks a little on the small side. We might clip the uh, tail of this Dash 8 on the way in, but never mind. Maximum wingspan 23, yeah, whatevs. <laughs> Needs must. Okay, uh, don't know how we're going to get out of here, but anyway. Here we are, welcome to Byron Bay. What a glorious part of the world. Uh, what I'm going to do is um, do the after landing checklist. 
After landing checklist. Flaps. Retracted. Spoilers. Disarmed. APU. On. No, it doesn't like on. Set and checked. Set and checked. Radar. <laughs> Off. Predictive wind shear system. Off. After landing checklist complete. Taxi light off. Right, we'll just let him do his uh, before shutdown flow. Who's going to do the last donation? I think we're one short. You might, you might be right. Yeah. Just our three two seven. Um, setting up approach to Apami one more time. Cool. Engines off. We'll get the the APU bleeders on. And turn our beacon off. And we can probably get some stairs over. One of the things I don't like about Pushback Express is that it quits itself after pushback. And actually, because of the ground services, you might well want it on landing. <laughs> Jenny! Bless you! Thank you. Fifteen pounds. I'd Have a good flight back to Sydney and hire a new first officer. Thank you, Jenny. That's really kind of you. Really kind of you. Much appreciated. Oh dear. Yes, I, I'm just yeah. I'm just speechless with all these donations. Thank you all very, very much again. Uh, let's get some stairs. Get the deboarding underway. And then what we'll do is we'll head over to the thresh threshold in the drone and uh, do the giveaway, do the first of the two giveaways, which is very exciting. Um, I don't think we can get stairs here, unfortunately. Oh, we missed one, we missed one. Sorry, whoever that was. <laughs> right, so yeah, the plan is uh, get over to the threshold, watch some landings, do the giveaway. We'll have a look around the airport. We'll have a little break to set up for the uh, return flight. And then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll fly back to Sydney. Got to run, Jenny. Okay, no worries, no worries. Uh, nice to see you as always. And uh, yeah, have a good Ambling, rest of your morning. One is, uh, Thanks again for the donation. Cool. Thank you. Thank you very much for trying. Last year, I've for one. You're all doing very, very well, and uh, I wish you the best of luck with the landing. Thanks, Uncle Fulbert. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, right, right. Giveaway time, giveaway time. Uh, so, let me just uh, turn off the timer. It's now too late to enter the giveaway. It's finished. You're not allowed. Um, but I'm still trying to find the right window. Uh, right, cancel that timer. Yeah, traffic is still on the runway. We'll have to reduce uh, minimum approach speed. The last eleven forty-one. So I can tell you that uh, so far, Pick well, me. in total, <laughs> fifty-eight people have given the correct answer uh, to the giveaway question, and the answer was Cavanba. I bet I'm saying that wrong, but Cavanba, uh, C-A-V-A-N-B-A-H, or double V. Uh, which and is just what I went for. Reducing final approach speed now on the INF X ray uh, for runway 26. And <laughs> there's a break in ATC comm, so I can do this. We're going to roll the dice. Now, before we do, I just need to remind you how to claim your prize. Uh, whoever wins needs to email me within 24 hours at philbertflies at gmail.com uh, with their Orbex Direct registered email address and their YouTube username. And yeah. that lucky person. <laughs> is Ladbound. Ladbound, congratulations. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, congratulations. You've won yourself a copy of Balliner Airport for Microsoft Flight Simulator. And I look forward to hearing from you with those details. Yay. <laughs> um, so, uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll be doing another giveaway for another copy of this scenery. Uh, on the way back, so it's not all over. If Just you didn't win this time, you can enter again. Me. Uh, five miles. Right, okay, Willie. <laughs> close, close, but no banana. Swifty, hello, I missed your arrival, welcome. Um, 
Uh, what else have I missed? I don't think I can possibly catch up with all of this. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, Joseph, I have got live weather on. Uh, speed text it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm caught. If I've missed anything, my apologies. Do let me know. Uh, Ladbound, uh, you need to email me at uh, philbertflies at gmail dot com uh, with your YouTube username, or you can contact me on Discord if it's easier, whichever you'd prefer. <laughs> I, do, I like doing these. I like doing these giveaways. All right, so we've got uh, we've got Simon, who's on a two-mile final, so we should see him arrive any minute now. Uh, we should have another aircraft. I can't remember who was who. Two seven out, El Palmi. Uh, there's someone who doesn't have the scenery uh, taxiing through the static. Don't blame him, to be honest. Um, so that's all right. And that was the last parking spot gone. So we're going we're gonna to have to have some grass parking. That's the only way forward, I think. Going to make a fish finger sandwich. Okay, see you soon, Kai. Enjoy. I'm quite jealous. I like a fish finger sandwich. We're in traffic just uh, for 26. Uh, and here he is. There's Simon. Six, Looked very nice to me. What was that, Ben? Didn't catch that. Could be interesting. All right, while we wait for the next... Um, next arrival. I think it's high time we had a look at this uh, fantastic new scenery from Ozzine. Um, very detailed. Uh, a lot of nice little things included, as you will see. So let's start by having a little look at the airside entrance to the terminal building. QF737 is Pritam. Ah, right, cool, cool. You can see we've got some people out here, which I really like to see uh, these days. Didn't used to be fussed, now I am. Because I'm very fickle like that. <laughs> nice bit of roping, some cones. No, uh, no modelled interior. I don't, I don't think. No, no, uh, no modelled interior certainly at this level. Uh, but really, really nice texturing. Good bit of weathering. Nice signage. All super crisp uh, and legible, as you can see. Uh, we've got the static. Uh, we have the uh, the Jetstar, the Jetstar Sorry, Dash 8 Q400. Uh, uh, Nicely done, Simon. <laughs> what a unit indeed. Yeah. <laughs> um, we have a very nicely modelled maintenance area over here. Got a tractor, got a fuel truck, got a rather grubby looking old helicopter over here. But it's one of those airports that just has a really nice atmosphere and it does it does make you feel like you're there. Meow. <laughs> oh, what is the world coming to? And we got this guy who we who we've seen at various airports, uh, either standing around chatting or, or, or working on an aircraft. I don't know quite what he's up to here. I think he's having some kind of episode and probably needs an intervention. Uh, but anyway, anyway, it's nice that he's there doing his best. Uh, again, look at the quality of this hangar. Rust and peeling paint. And, uh, it looks really good. How are the fences? A very good question. You think it's only fair that you give us another sing song after that? No, 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 no. I'm sorry, Willie. I'm sorry. That was, <laughs> was a one time only thing. <laughs> oh, dearie me. I mean, I suppose I could say. Well, traffic, just, uh, 426, short final, runway zero six. I suppose I could say that if I make it to three three hundred pounds in donations during this stream, I'll give you another sing song. But I don't know. That would make me a little bit grabby, I think. So I won't say that. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Let's watch Ben's landing. <laughs> no translucent corrugated iron. Not not that I've noticed. <laughs> it can be out, can he bark? No, really, he cannot. <laughs> yes, ah, an R22 or an R44. Good helicopter knowledge, Pritam. Thank you for that. It does look like a helicopter. It was a helicopter. Uh, a static helicopter. It's part of the scenery. This is the man himself. Flight Benzilla. And we haven't seen anyone go into the river yet, which is good. 
Lord Daxon, 21 hours away, you've had enough. Oh, blimey, yeah, I'm not surprised. Go to bed. <laughs> Keep the dirty side down. Well, it's lovely to have you along um, on the stream. And, um, yeah, thank you very much uh, again for your donation. And sleep well. Sleep well. You think you won't make the return leg? Oh, sorry, yes, that way I'm reading in the wrong order. Um, yeah, no worries. No worries. Sleep well. Good night. Yeah, looked good to me. Looked good to me. Random fact, did you know there are two places in Ireland called Belina? Belina. No. No, I didn't. I didn't. Oh my goodness me. If he has to go around again, I'm going to feel very guilty indeed. <laughs> Simon's not messing around. He's going straight back out again. Not having any of this nonsense waiting around getting stuck behind people. <laughs> Just saw the Helion Discovery on a show named Croc Wrangler. <laughs> right, okay. It says recent, recent helicopter knowledge. You'll go in the river, but not now. <laughs> okay, treat me well. Am I pronouncing your name right, by the way? Do you like it being called? Do you like being called? Is it Treed We Went? Or is it something else like Crud Wewen? Uh, 337, 3.6 miles to final. Oh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Someone tell the CRJ the airport's full. <laughs> no, not after. Uh, not after um, that. Oh no, we got a little bit of a and standoff here. And just after our 26 vacated. <laughs> right, it's from the south east coast. 2.3 miles. He's take, there was an earlier taxiway. Maybe he doesn't have it in his dodgy freeware scenery. <laughs> right, let's uh, let's watch um, Vitek get down at last in his CRJ. <laughs> I'm sorry, Simon, it's not in my scenery. I'm going to have to uh, go free this time. <laughs> well, there goes my immersion. Yeah, I'm just going to disconnect quickly. Oh, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Amateur hour. <laughs> Your plane be remaining here with the technicians getting call from Brisbane to come fix that suspension. Yeah, seven hundred minus seven hundred. That's uh, well, that's a, that's a rare anomaly given your usual uh, your usual um, record. We got this fight this airport. Nice, very very nice. Welcome, Voitech. <laughs> Thank you. Is anybody else coming in? I don't think so. I think you're the la oh Ian might be. I don't know. Don't know. Pass. I could check actually, couldn't I? I could check. That might be helpful. Uh, Did an emergency break and trying to vacate as quickly as possible. Yeah, if and there's one more. There's one more uh, coming in. I think he's on final now. Possibly two more. At least no, just one more. Um, right. What else have I missed? You have been to Bellina and I have you? Except here it's pronounced Balinar. Oh, okay. Oh, this is impossible. I can't get my head around Australian pronunciation and Irish pronunciation on the same day. Oh, someone's disconnected, leaving a free stand. If someone's quick. Um, so this is Pritam, right? Bally this is a bit coming. erotic. <laughs> Three hundred one twenty mile final for the way zero six. 20 miles. Oh, okay, we got a bit of time. 337 three, vacating in two seconds. Lego, and you're in the middle of an exam. Turn your phone off. You'll get disqualified, boss. Go check out Byron itself, north. All right. Vacated. All right, I will. Is it far? Is it droneable? Is this north? I'm guessing this is about north. I'm below. Is anyone okay with me entering them? Because there's not many places to park. You can enter me, boss. Thanks, boss. I knew you'd count on you. <laughs> I'm coming.
coming in between two eighty twenties, I think. On the coast until you reach a headland. Okay, so this isn't it, no. This this must be um Ballon? Yeah, I don't know. Go yeah, mate right, headland, headland. There's a headland. Is that a headland? The way you were pronouncing it, how you taught me is right. Yeah, that's what I thought, Harrison, but not for the Irish one, apparently. That's Ballinar. Right up the end there, one o'clock. Oh, it is pretty, isn't it? We'll come and do some VFR down here. You're in a virtual exam, so no supervising. Right, still, still Lego. You know I always love to see you on my streams. But you've got to concentrate on your exam. You've got to. I don't want to be responsible for you doing worse than you might have done without me. Byron's been taken over by rich yuppie types, but inland is hippie central. Oh, okay. Is this it? Is this it here? Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? I'd quite like one of these houses in the middle of the forest, I think, if this forest is even real. Very nice, very nice indeed. Okay, well, what I propose then is that we start setting up for the next flight. And then hopefully that'll give Ian time to arrive. And, and then we can all somehow get out of here and get back to um, Sydney and do another giveaway. Oh, nice lighthouse. Probably not really there probably doesn't look quite like that but it's very nice the trees are tool tool but do exist oh okay cool well that's better than it might have been with msfs i have not oh oh everyone just pinged in <laughs> oh that's brilliant that is brilliant <laughs> ridiculous but brilliant okay okay uh, let me just get my other flight plan loaded. I did plan it, um, so it should just be a question of loading and activating it in Simbrief. Uh, my flights. Uh, I'm just reconfiguring Voitech. I don't think there's any need to reload in. Shouldn't be, anyway. Off to final work calls. Thank you, William. I'm so sorry about your rubbishy week, and uh, I hope you're doing okay. I'll see you soon. It is, yeah, I realise it probably was that, as I was saying. I, ra I rather meant it probably doesn't look exactly like that, but still nice, still very nice. Welcome back, Arnav. Might have to do a three-point turn, yeah. I don't think there's actually any pushback available at this airport either, so yeah, it might literally be a bit of um, a bit of slewing. Uh, okay, so that's that, that's that, and that's that. Just load it up in uh, Navigraph. And we'll pre-file it on Batsim. You got a ten out of ten. Thank you for thank you for your mystic powers. In that case, you're very welcome, and I'm sorry I discouraged you from watching me. <laughs> we'll be back if you're early. We'll leave the stream on it. Okay, Stuart. Well, thank you for your donation, and thank you for popping by, and thank you for your Club Philbert Gold membership as well. And uh, yeah, hopefully see you before the end of the stream. Jason, welcome. Are you in Are you in uh, Lanzarote yet? Sorry, and how far off are you? I missed your call. Oh, is that him? Did we miss him? Oh, I'm really sorry. I missed it. I thought you were ages out for some reason. Anyway, welcome. Welcome. <laughs> I've got to get a screenshot of this.
There we are. Ah, uh, dear. Right. Ben missed your landing the other day yeah, as well. Can't park there, sir. <laughs> I mean, you can't park anywhere, boss, and yet, and yet you have to. This stream is a bastion of knowledge, clearly. <laughs> I'm losing the plot a little bit now, though. I don't know what I'm trying to do. Oh, yeah, it's pre-filing my flight plan, which I've done. Um, wow, well, we jet star 457 now, so I'll disconnect. Connect, JST 457. Connect, flight plan, fetch from server. 360 on the way back sounds good. Okay, now we can start setting up the plane, I think. Oh, I haven't done the parking checklist. Let's do that. Parking checklist. Checked. What? Parking checklist. APU bleed. What is that noise? What, what is... Th oh, it's the wipers. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why they've come on. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, on. On. Engines. There was a virgin dingo. Off. Seat belts. Off. Are you sure about that? No. Exterior no, I'm not lights. sure about that. <laughs> Nav logo on. What's he doing now? Nav logo on. Fuel pumps. Off. Parking brake and chocks. On and in. Parking checklist complete. Good. Okay. <laughs> Down we go. Over to the menu. ATSU. AOC. Init press. Init data request. AOC menu, perf weight and balance, load the fuel, OFP request send, payload load, done, init request here, sorry I miss, I can't really, it's been too long since I've streamed, I'm not used to multitasking, you sent to go around at Sydney, I hope not. <laughs> Yeah, we were going to have a look for the Virgin. There, look, look, there's a Virgin here. He's pushing back. He's pushing back. Hi, right, Ben. Did you elect not to enter me after all? It's slightly rude, to be honest. <laughs> uh, flight attendant making coffee, if only. He does. He does. That is pretty much his main uh, raison d'etre, Scott. <laughs> shouting get checked <laughs> and twiddling random knobs that new windscreen you have to buy now or sap all of today's donations <laughs> oh really let me see that's new did he do it on um, Gavin's stream yesterday Dwight? he hasn't done it with me before um But he never did! Or maybe he did but disconnected, I don't know. I wasn't even... I mean, no offence, Ben, but I, I didn't feel a thing. Anyway, family-friendly channel. Um, let's get on with setting up the aircraft. Oh, v Legion, yes! It's a, it's a wash with your liveries. How are you? Yeah, I have the livery. Gonna have to go as you're gonna walk the dog and clean the house before your brothers come home from school and destroy. And no worries, Kai. Thanks for popping by. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Okay, uh, cost index 12. <laughs> uh, flight plan YBNA, departure, runway 06, no SIDS, easy peasy. Clear the discontinue. We're not going to BNA, are we? That's mental because that's directly overhead. So we'll uh, delete that and we'll delete the discontinuity. And we'll go back out to Banda, where we came in from. Seems slightly, slightly dodgy, but anyway, it's fine. Um, <clears throat> we'll do the init B page now. 
block fuel is 5.6 tons and over to the perf page get the old spreadsheet up again uh, the runway heading is 062 the elevation is uh, 7 feet probably leave it at 0 but whatever do it right uh, the length is 1900 meters and it's not sloped it does have a clear way in form of the river oh, the traffic velocity 1137 it's taxiing via one jet star plane over another jet star plane to the holding point for runway 06 <laughs> brilliant <laughs> um, weather 3302 the winds oh they've changed Blade of ground to send a repair truck <laughs> we're still taking off from runway 6 uh, outside air temperature is 50 oh, sorry if it's Balinaden Alohomora Is that Gaelic? Was that Gaelic? <laughs> <laughs> oh dearie me Meow Oh don't you meow too late for that. <laughs> oh, Deary me. Take off weight 63.3 tonnes. Uh, flex. Are we going to do config 1 plus F? No, we're not because that won't give us enough uh, enough lift. We'll do config 2. And we'll f Really? We're going to flex, are we? We're not going to do toga? All right, we'll trust the spreadsheet. We'll trust the spreadsheet, and if it all goes wrong and we run out of runway, it's not my fault. But it's the only way you learn whether or not to trust a spreadsheet is by trusting it. You just always seem to be working work nine days in a row. Yeah, I'm glad it's over now. I didn't. You may well have answered my question. I missed it. Are you are you in Lanzarote, or have you not left yet, Jason? Uh, didn't sound like it. Okay, <laughs> Harry Potter speaker. <laughs> ah, okay, right, right. <laughs> Is it even allowed to say me having unicorn? Well, in Australia, anything goes as far as we can tell. Three, two, one. Toga, it Toga sounds better. <laughs> eh, I'm gonna now. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a flex. I'm gonna let it do a flex. A flaps two. V one. Rotate. Yeah, these are these are reassuringly low with flaps too. Okay, um, we're going to climb straight up to our cruising altitude because there's no ATC to tell us not to. Three six zero. Turn the flight directors on. Bob's your uncle, and we'll vector ourselves round uh, after takeoff to the right. Let's get the fuel pumps back on. Let's get the seatbelt sign back on. And uh, we'll run the uh, before start checklist again. Okay. Before start checklist. Cockpit prep. Completed. Completed. Gear pins and covers. Removed. Signs. On and auto. Hey dears. Nav. Fuel quantity. Five six zero zero kilograms. Takeoff data. Set. Barrow ref. One zero two nine set. One zero two nine set. Although well, really it should Down be one zero two line. eight, but he doesn't care about these things, which is another reason why it's something of a waste of space. 
Right, how the hell are we going to get out of here? Uh, <laughs> let's see if Pushback Express can actually provide us with a... Uh, Cockpit to ground. Go ahead, with a tug. Back. We'll be ready shortly. Roger. There's no sign of a tug, but it might, uh, it might let us do it anyway. So they have a 25 minute turnaround well, here, we have easily made. Uh, um, yeah, we'll get the beacon on. Doors are closed. Below the line. Windows and doors. Closed. Closed. Beacon. On. Thrust levers. Idle. Don't know how, but we're hoping to open there about uh, five minutes. Before start checklist complete. Right, let the others depart. I could let the others depart. That is an option. Or I could just give up and just reverse through them. So who's next, boys? I don't know. I was trying to work out a logical answer to that question. I, I don't think there is one. Uh, the the PRJ was just on the uh, other home point. Uh, if you're ready to go, you can go. Uh, we need one more minute and we'll be ready. Okay, CRJ 337, uh, taxiing onto runway and backtracking. Wish the. But it was! It was, I mean, I, oh, on an A320, no, but I did have a, I did have a Virgin 737, I'm sure, who someone told me was, um, Pritam, I think. Yeah, uh, I don't, I don't do, I don't have, um, I don't have any, uh, you know, A320 Virgin liveries, I'm, I'm sorry. Because they're not in eyebrow, I guess. Ben, is this you behind the other Jetstar? Ben, is this you behind the Jetstar to my left? I'll be honest, I don't know, but we're on a taxiway. Uh, currently making our way over the grass to uh, line up to the runway behind Simon. <laughs> Okay, uh, you're not on the grass for me, you're on a taxiway. Uh, I think you're the only one, you're the only one who's actually moving, so uh, um, yeah, I'll, I'll push back. Awesome, like a pro, I knew I was doing <laughs> right, right now. <laughs> well, in the traffic, Jetstar 457 will uh, be pushing back and starting from uh, stand one uh, after the passing traffic. Oh, Simon's in a Virgin 737, but he's showing us a Jetstar. Oh. I'll be departing the Jetstar either on the yellow or the yellow lining up and waiting. Yeah, model matching is, uh, you know, as you know. Pretty much taking off. Yeah. Right. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead, flight deck. We are ready for pushback and engine start. Roger, release the parking brakes, please. No worries, Ian, that's fair enough. Yeah, guys, parking sorry. Uh, do, do a full takeoff, full speed. Okay, good advice, which I will heed, thank you. Thank you for the back for You are cleared behind it, you start your engines at your discretion. Starting engine two. Check. Yeah, invisible pushback tags are always good. I don't think there is five star. I don't think so. Dingo, you may have answered this as well, but how come you how come you're not flying on P3D? So with the uh, Sorry, not on P3D, on that side. I'm going to go after uh, the current 737 on the room, and then I'll go after the receiving from Alpha. Stop. Stop. Pushback complete. Set to parking brakes, please. 
Great set. Starting engine two. Check. No. Starting engine one, I mean. Starting engine one. Check. Looking for, yeah, loads of runway, loads of runway at Sydney. <laughs> the tug is from Hogwarts. Yeah, like technology is. <laughs> Do you get free pushback express if you have FS2 crew fly by wire edition? Unfortunately not, Treed, we went. No, you don't. Yeah, yeah, this is this is true, really. I mean, there's My also not enough. It was Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> I'm with you now. Um, yeah, there's no, there's just, there's just not enough room. They need to extend this airport. Sharpish. <laughs> oh yeah, after you, boss. After you. Don't mind me. <laughs> you didn't. Ah, uh, you didn't set up early enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, that's uh, two good starts. Engine mode selector back to normal. Um, APU bleed off. APU off. Taxi lights on. And uh, after start checklist. After start checklist. Anti ice. Off. Ecam status. Checked. Pitch trim. Uh, I haven't done it, have I? I did it once, ever, <laughs> on the last flight. So that's a start. 30% set. 30% set. Oi! 30% set. Rudder trim. Why is my plane shaking about? Zero. Zero. After start checklist, complete. Flight control check. Ready. Full up. Full down. Hello Neutral. Aditya, welcome. And hello Dude Gaming. How Full are you? Full left. Checked. Full right. Neutral. I don't know what he's checking. Right, we'll wait for him to finish his own flight control check. And then I'm going to edge forward and line up behind these two, and then I'm going to go to the toilet, <laughs> seeing as we're not going anywhere in a hurry. Clear left side. Clear right side. Hmm. In Bellina traffic, or Ballina traffic, correction, uh, Jetstar 457 is uh, taxiing to uh, hold short on Alpha, uh, short of runway 6. Let's just check we can move. Well, I'm uh, behind the parking from the Oh, we can't we're move. We're going to backtrack and line up and reserve it. Where's my parking brake? Parking brake set. Roger. Okay, let's hope bias disconnected. Oh. And equipment is clear. Oh, we'll we see you on the left right. side. No wonder we can't Thanks, move. The invisible tug is still attached. Motor hand signals. Thanks. Have a good flight. <laughs> see you later. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're doing the return flight, Tom. Yep. Remember to reset your squawk so you're not flying into controlled airspace to someone else's squawk. Eh. Meh. It's all right to have. I mean, it doesn't really matter until you're given um, until you're given a new squawk. I know we all try. We all start off squawking 2000, but I don't think it really matters. Something weird's going on because he hasn't set the. Uh, he normally does all this, set the auto brake and whatnot. All right, I'll edge forward, and that'll be uh, that'll be a good time for a toilet break. I mean, that does happen uh, in in real life. You know that people end up with the same squat, and then when they get into that controls airspace, they just get told to recycle it. And we'll stop here.
And yeah, I'll be back in a couple of minutes. See you shortly. So then a traffic jet star 426, uh, departing runway 06. Give it a full stand and hopefully we don't uh, crash into the wall of at the end. Traffic for 1038. Sorry, uh, lining up. Runway 06. Hmm, see what you mean? That was weird. Just a little run up, nothing to worry about. <laughs> uh, right. Brake check. Pressure zero. Before takeoff checklist. Flight controls. Checked. Checked. Flight instruments. Checked. Checked. Briefing. Confirmed. Flat setting. Config 1 plus F set. Config 2. V1, oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> VR, V2, flex temp. To do all this myself this time round, apparently. Flight attendants, please prepare for takeoff. It should be on TARA. Why is, why is it showing? Oh, predictive wind shear is off. Um traffic velocity eleven thirty eight, burning runway zero six to the south. One two five, one two six, one three zero, flexing five one. One two five, one two six, one three zero, flexing five one degrees. V one, one two five, VR. One, two, six, V two, one, three, zero. We're not Flex actually taxing, but five, um, one degrees, ATC. <coughs> I'm having some peanut. <coughs> I'm all right. Peanut M and M's. <laughs> A little bit of ASMR to thank you all for the uh, donation so far. <laughs> there he goes. Okay, I haven't finished my checklist. Set. Set. Ecam memo. Take off no blue. Down to the line. So, strobes on. Oh, he's doing that, is he? Cabin nice. crew, be seated for takeoff. Landing lights on, we'll assume we're cleared for takeoff. Approach path, clear of traffic. Well, then a traffic uh, jet star 457, backtrack and line up runway 06. I know peanut M&Ms are the best. Something to look forward to. Something to look forward to, Harrison. <laughs> he needs all that feeling. <laughs> that, yeah. I don't, I can't think of any good reason why 
the first officer or anyone else would have suddenly decided to put the throttles to toga. It's really weird. Poor apron area, everything got blown over there. <laughs> FS2 crew, it's... I mean, I've never had this before. I think perhaps the issue is that, you know, you're, you're buying a product that is designed to work with a particular version of the A32NX. And so every little change has the potential to, uh, to mess things up a little bit. Below, the, oh, wrong button. Below the line. Cabin crew. Advised. TCAS. TARA. Engine mode selector. Normal. Packs. On. Before takeoff checklist complete. Nothing, so, nothing as useless as runway behind you. So we'll, uh, yeah, we'll stop there. And I think we're ready. Maybe it was my cat, yeah. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Take off. Check. Balano traffic, Jetstar 457, taking off runway 06, departure to the Checked. south. APU bleed. What? Oh, he's doing the bloody parking checklist now. Hold the brakes on, because people have made me nervous. Engine stable. Toga. Man, thrust set. Man Toga, SRS runway auto thrust blue. Boy tag, thank you. 100 knots. Checked. V1, rotate. Ah, loads of runway. Positive climb. Gear up. We're still on track, FPA. Right, and we're above, uh, once we're above a thousand feet, we'll start our turn around to the right. Voite, I don't think I really, um, I don't think I fully, I fully express my appreciation for your donation. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Move a climb. AP1 on. Autopilot 1 on. No, I don't want to do it. I'll do it. Fine. And away we go. Back to Sydney. Ben, you are a very, very rude man. <laughs> and so are you, Scott, for not challenging him. <laughs> However, I would like to thank you, Ben, for your continued uh, membership of Club Wilbur Gold. <laughs> what is A? Eh? Uh, correct term. Aviation train is his back. <laughs> How has the FO passed the airport security? He has been hiding some of his trip. Tom, no worries. Sleep well and uh, thank you for coming along. Flaps zero. Flaps zero. Flaps zero. Ugh. checked. You can force him to do things through the menu if all else fails. <laughs> That's okay, Scott. Apology accepted. <laughs> oh dear. After take Flaps zero. I'm talking. Don't talk over me, please. After takeoff climb checklist. Oh, he's not going to talk to me at all now. After takeoff climb checklist. Uh, 
Oh, there's someone at the door now. Hold on. I'm back, sorry about that. Uh, that was my downstairs neighbour informing me that my bike has been vandalised and half of it stolen, so that's nice. I've got an e-bike and they've basically taken both the wheels off it somehow and uh, the motor and uh, yeah, so there we go. Uh, what are we doing? After takeoff climb checklist. Landing gear. Up. Flaps. Retracted. Packs. On. Down to the line. Set standard. Standard. Cross checked. Passing flight level 175. I will. Yeah, I will. No. I'll do it on that. Yes, it is insured. It is insured. Good that today was donation spam. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, it is terrible. It is terrible. There we go. Uh, check. Below the line. Barro ref. Standard set. Standard set. After takeoff, climb checklist complete. I know. I know. Ian, I know. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That is true. Faster. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Eh, I doubt it, Simon, but I should the insurance should should cough up for it. It was properly locked up in a bike hanger with a gold secure lock and uh, and a thick cable around both wheels, so Oh, it's just so irritating, so irritating. But there we go. Worst things happen at sea. I want more donos. Always want more donos for us stuff. But uh, no, I think people have done quite enough today.
Okay, anyway, onwards and upwards. Uh, let us let us get on with the second giveaway. That seems to be the thing to do. What's the matter with people? Why vandalise it? Well, because it's an e-bike and it's got value. So they've got all the expensive bits off it, except for the battery, basically. The wheels, the motor, the um, hub. Yeah, everything. And the most irritating thing is that I've just spent money on getting a new uh, freewheel for it. It's just, it's, it's not so much the loss of the bike, it's the fact that there were people right outside the front of my house who were able to break into a bike hanger and, and cut the lock and get all of those things off without anybody noticing. That's what's scary. Yeah, shit, Christopher, it's true. Uh, right. Oh, I can't remember the answer to this one. Uh, I'm just going to have to have to look it up myself. So I think then the donations are in fact going to be spent on my insurance excess. Uh, rather than a triple seven, which is yeah, which is good because uh, otherwise that would have been even more of a pain in the backside. So thank you very much for that. Again. Oh Harrison, you don't have to do that. You really don't. Oh God, don't you're gonna get you down, mate. It's crap, but we're all here for ya. Oh don't thank you. Don't let Junkie Dave's latest score get ya down. <laughs> Thank you very much. Also, don't be nice to me. <laughs> um, what are we doing? Give away. Okay, so... Ah, oh, that's right. I know the answer to the question now. Okay, so the quest next question for a second chance to win a copy of uh, Ballina Byron Gateway Airport Scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator by um, Ozzine is uh, how many kilometres is it from Ballina Byron Gateway Airport to the Ballina CBD, the Central Business District? How many kilometres is it from Ballina Byron Gateway Airport to the Ballina CBD? Type the answer, one digit only, uh, in the chat to be in with a chance of winning, and good luck. No, no CCTV. No. Tilius, welcome. Welcome to Club Philbert Bronze. Thank you very much for signing up. It's uh, jolly decent of you. Um, and uh, just make sure that your Discord is linked to your YouTube account so that you get access to the um, Club Filbert members only channels on my Discord server. Your friend, yeah, unbelievable what they'll do, isn't it? Thank you, Jason, much appreciated. This is why we can't have nice things. Yeah, are you not even a member yet? Yes, so so if you're not on the Discord, uh, tell us, I'll put, um, put a link up for you to come join. Right. 
Right. So again, um, it's not a long flight, so I think we ought to start taking a look at our arrival. Um, Coffs Harbour, you say. Uh, um, um, Christ, my mind's gone to, gone blank. Dingo, of course, it's Dingo. Uh, so let's have a little look at that. <clears throat> let's have a look at the star chart, first of all. We're expecting a runway uh, three four left arrival. So we'll do the ILS. Um, so we want to be at or above six thousand feet. by at Zonka, Nash then to Nasho and then radar vectors and we want to intercept the um, glide slope at 3000 feet so we'll, we'll stick that in here. So we want to start our descent 90 miles before that but you know we can always extend the downwind we're not going to have ATC online so we've got, we got options. Um, oh my goodness why are we getting all these different answers? How many kilometres is it from uh, Ballina Byron Gateway Airport to the Ballina CBD? And uh, I would suggest I would suggest you check uh, Wikipedia. Hello, Joshua. Welcome. How are you? Remember, it's just one digit I'm looking for. If you put anything else in the chat, your entry won't be counted. So just just the digit. You're right, Ian. You are right. You are absolutely right. I won't. That's, that's very nicely to say. It's true. It's true. It's, um, yeah, material objects don't really matter. Still bloody irritating though. <laughs> okay, uh, so let's get into our flight plan page and uh, and do this. So we're looking. Let's just check the latest meta. Um, zero to zero at one four. So yeah, we're still looking at. Uh, I think we're still looking at the three fours. Yeah, we are. Three four left. And the Bory three alpha. Oh yeah, there are no buyers. Insert. Dudok Nasho. Let me just check that because there seem to be two branches. Yes, it's found the right one. It goes around to the west of the airport, so we'll be on the right side. Then Sausage Atret and YSSY. 1,000 to go. It's weird. I don't have Atret on my... Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Sausage Atret. Yep, that is correct. Cool, so we'll just uh, vector ourselves around to Sausage and we'll be uh, on the right path. That's a good tip, Ian. That is a good tip. Do you know, we tried this, Philip, last time we were in uh, arriving into Sydney and it almost worked, but not quite. <laughs> Not in the experimental version, ha, huh? but the other versions, yes. Oh, brilliant. Thanks, Jason. Checking that out. 
Am I right in, in thinking that they normally use 3-4 left for arrivals and 3-4 right for departures? Because I, I did see some departures from 3-4 left as well. But I guess traffic isn't what it usually is. There isn't really one, huh? There isn't really one, except it might be buggy, but I haven't personally had any issues with it. The idea is that the stable build is stable, obviously, and then the developmental build is um, a place for them to try out new features that mostly work, and the experimental build is, is likely to be less stable and, and go wrong, and it's got sort of the, the latest, less tested features in it. But uh, because they've added the custom flight plan manager, um, now it's uh, it's it's really good it's the best one by far in my opinion well not just in my opinion I'm, I'm confident in saying that yeah yeah oh they change all the time do they oh okay Let's put a bit of music on. Well, we were going to have some blues, weren't we? Let's do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot to change that. <laughs> <laughs> I will change it. <laughs> there we are. Fixed. <laughs> uh, just, just find some turbulent weather. Find some cumulonimbus clouds to fly through. See, I do. Next time, you should chin your bike up by the frame. That way, they can't nick your bike. I did, and the frame's still there, but the wheels, the motor, everything else is gone. The expensive stuff is gone. Yeah, I'd give it a go, huh? I'd give it a go. <laughs> nice. Good luck to you both. This is uh, Grease Monkey by Will Harrison. Thing is, because I live because I live on a first floor maisonette, there's just there's just nowhere I can put my bike inside without it being like between me and the front door. Yes, we're on that side. Don't forget you do need to be a subscriber to the channel to be in with a chance of winning this prize. And the question again, how many kilometres is Ballina Byron Gateway Airport from the uh, Ballina CBD? Yeah, that's what the uh, that's what the red means. So if you're in the red band, then you're overspeeding. Don't forget, this is indicated airspeed, though. So our speed over the ground is 475 knots. So the higher you climb, the thinner the air, the lower your your indicated airspeed will be for a given ground speed. 
broadly speaking. Alright, let's get our um, performance data put in for the arrival. You have control. I have control. So, wind 020 at 14. Temperature's 18. Wind is uh, 020 at 14. What? What am I doing? Uh, QNH is 1026. Transition altitude is uh, well, flight level 110. And the barrier minimums for the ILS to um, 3 4 left are 220. And we'll use auto brake loads. Loads of runway, so this should be a far easier arrival than our departure was. Oh, do, do, Harry, yeah, that might well make me feel better. Uh, is the music too loud, or is it about right? Jerry, it's a single digit and you need to just type the number, nothing else, so your, your entry won't be counted. Don't forget you need to be a subscriber to the channel to win this one. Question again, how many kilometres is it from Ballina Byron Gateway Airport to the CBD, to the city centre? Oh, you've already got it. Good news, Glenn. Do you like it? Hello, Shark Kitty. Kilometres we're after, don't forget, not miles. Yeah, I must come out here and do some... Um, and do some VFR in a helicopter at some point. Oh, nice alternative answers to this one as well. It's really hard finding a question where there's only one definitive answer. Bear with me, I need to do some manual ticking. Yeah. 
and not far to Gold Coast and Brizzy for short flights. Yeah. Yeah, I need to spend more time flying around Australia in a, in a little plane or a helicopter. I, I did. They've been around a while, Wojtek, through, through Aerosoft, I think, the North Frisian Islands, right? Um, yeah, yeah, we should. <laughs> we can say that's that if you like. I mean, I'm looking for the answer that's on Wikipedia. Let's be honest. <laughs> I I uh, I thought this would be uh, you know a fairly a fairly simple question, and I have found that it isn't, depending on which source you use. So yeah, according to Wikipedia, how far is Ballinabyron Gateway Airport from the CBD? Oh, it is too loud, is it? I did ask. Is that better? Is that about right for everyone? Thank you, Tiago. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, yeah. So according to Wikipedia, how many kilometres is um, is it from is the CBD from the airport? That's the answer I'm looking for. So I'll give you a little look at the approach chart so you can see what we're doing with that. I used to do this all the time and I meant to do it earlier and didn't. Um, another graph window, there we are. Okay, so this is our, this is our RNAV arrival. So uh, at Barrow we need to be at or below 9,000 feet, uh, but at or above 8,000 for Vasra. And then we're coming down here, 6,000 or above for Zonka. Dudok, Nasho. And then from there we can expect radar vectors, but of course there's no ATC online, so we'll vector ourselves around and what we're going to do is, is turn left and left again. On to the final approach course, uh, which looks like this. So we're going to start at Sausage, and then we'll intercept the glide slope at uh, 9.4 nautical miles from ISO, which is the uh, localizer. 110.1. <laughs> Wikipedia is is a truth of sorts. <laughs> you know, you think a distance would be would be fairly standard, but there are there are other sites that will tell you a totally different figure to the one that Wikipedia does, which essentially makes it a bad question. But I couldn't have known that. <laughs> the local pub's the heart of any regional Aussie town. Yeah. I wish this would just stay. Stay. Oh, I still got the navigraph window. Oops.
It's all right, Jerry. I uh, I already ticked your name because I realised that I had to accept either. <laughs> We do start at sausage, we do, we do. <laughs> okay, I think we'll start our descent. So the first constraint was uh, at or below, uh, at or above 8,000 feet by Vazra. So let's start getting down to that now. Here we go. I said, there we go. <laughs> there we are, we are on our way down. Good! And it certainly used to be true for England. You did, Dingo. You did, amongst other things. <laughs> well, welcome to the party. <laughs> it's cleaner than a lot of the maps that, uh, that I've seen on Volanta parties, though. Ah, oh, too many windows open. So yeah, uh, so we want to be at or above um, 8,000 by Vazra, at or below 9,000 for Berov, uh, which uh, we should make. It's probably not Berov, is it? It's Berov, I imagine. Berov, then Ovils, Gentle, Zonka. <laughs> they don't quite beat the Americans down here for uh, waypoint names, but they're still pretty cool. Hello, Dedevelo. Welcome. How are you? How to win? Uh, largely luck, uh, but you also have to answer the following question. Just type the single digit in chat. How far away is uh, Bellina Byron Gateway Airport from the CBD in kilometres? Okay, and see you soon. Did the radio sound just as you press the enter key? That is, yeah, that is weird. Where else am I hoping to fly around? Well, I'd love to fly to Melbourne. That seems like a bigger mission from the uh, Australian Scenery Bank to me. And also cross country to Perth would be cool. Aren't we all already on Unicorn Voyage? Once do Delhi to Bangalore. I don't think we've got Bangalore scenery yet, but when we do, yeah, I've done a couple of flights in India, and yeah, I'll be up for doing some more. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess I guess if you do fly across the centre of Australia, it's largely going to be desert, isn't it? That's all right though. I don't mind a bit of desert. Let me just check my uh, calculations here. Because truth be told, I missed the 9,000 or below speed uh, altitude restriction. So let's just see if we're going to make it. We can always add in some speed brakes. 9,000 or below, 47 nautical miles. Um, so yeah, that's Barrow. Are we 47 nautical miles from Barrow? No, we're not. So let's, uh, yeah, we use a bit of speed brake to get us down a little quicker. Of course it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, but... If you fly from Melbourne, it's all ocean. What, to Perth? Oh yeah, I guess it would be. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll do, um, if we get a decent Perth, maybe we'll do, like, uh, Brisbane to Perth, maybe? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure the airport will come. I just hope it's a good version of it when it does. Must remember, during the descent, it's quiet enough to be outside. Come see a bit of scenery, which is nice. Cabin crew, prepare for arrival. I don't know Jason actually. There's an OK freeway for Melbourne and Perth by accident. Oh really? I didn't know that. Let me have a little look. Oh Perth is payware. Oh there's oh I see, I see, there's an OK freeway for Melbourne and Perth by accident as well. Yeah, I did see the Axonos Perth. I didn't... I didn't fancy it particularly, to be honest. No, I can find the city scenery. I can't find... I can't find the airport. But I'm just googling it. I should probably look on flightsim.to instead. There's a lighting fix. Ah, oh, here we are. Dan P86. usable. I think I've just been a bit spoiled by Australian payware to be and freeware and this is it's not right up there is it? This Melbourne freeware. But yeah better than nothing. <laughs> yeah when you're doing it V Legion. <laughs> tight with this altitude constraint, not going to lie. But I think we'll make it. Yeah, Hobart's fantastic. I flew there not that long ago, actually. 
Ah, right, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, there's transition level. So we'll set local pressure. And I'm just going to double check that it hasn't changed. Should be 1026. Yep, that's fine. QNH 1026 set. 1026. Hello, set. Amani, welcome. Passing 10,300. Now. Checked. Approach checklist. Briefing. Confirmed. ECAM status. Checked. Seat belts. On. Barrow ref. 1026 set. 1026 set. Minimum. I can't remember. 220 set. Oh, he's not listening because he's doing his descent 10,000 feet flow. He's not good at he's not good at single tasking, let alone multitasking. <laughs> two two zero feet set. Two two zero feet set. Two two zero set. Engine mode selector. Normal. One thousand to go. Normal. Approach checklist complete. Three miles before right. Yeah, we've made that uh, altitude constraint easy peasy. Um, we can go down to 6,000 now. Sydney traffic jet star 457 is overhead Barrow on the Bori 3 Alpha arrival, uh, expecting ILS uh, 3 4 left. Yes, that's right, Jason. Yeah, we're going to head west of the airport, out over the sea, 1, and then uh, inbound via sausage. Every time he says mode selector, you hear Craig David. Well, I can't picture what that's from. Is that, is that, um, yeah, which song is that? And we get another look at uh, the Sydney CBD. Uh, for those of you entering the competition, don't forget you have to be a subscriber to the channel to win the prize as well, as well as getting the answer right. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, nice feelings. I look forward to see it. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be pretty sweet. In fact, I'm going to be, I'm just going to, there's no restrictions. Let's get down to 3,000 so we can be a little bit closer to it. Z was Sydney working. traffic uh, 327 taxiing via Bravo Golf to domestic terminal 2. This is, I mean, it is a beautiful city, isn't it? You can't deny it. It's pretty stunning. 
Have a quick look at the map and see how we're doing separation wise. One thousand to go. Kind of all right, I think. Yeah. Beautiful. And last time I was here, before Sim Update 5, I'd get terrible, terrible frames with the uh, with the Orbex Cityscape on. anyone on my TCAS. Does the TCAS not work in, with this experimental version? I honestly can't remember. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The crowd said that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Retract speed brake, damn good idea. Damn good idea. Uh, also, <laughs> right downwind, currently 3 4 right, 10 miles from the field, same as 3000, uh, also 190 knots. Ah, okay, thanks Scott. Yeah, I figured that was probably the case for the same reason the weather radar and that doesn't work. What do you mean ramp no secret, Sandy? Oh, we're all right separation-wise, I think. Yeah, we definitely, definitely are. So we can just admire the views, and uh, we'll decrease our speed soon. Radar altimeter alive. Beautiful. Right yeah, I'm still doing 250. Pretty still good. on the downwind. It's all right. Yeah, you're right, Harrison. Yeah, you are right. I should do a jet start of Japan flight. Right. Start slowing down now for our base turn. It's fine, as long as you're doing 250 or less below 10,000, you're, you're fine. I'm sorry, just let you know the way it's going to be doing 180. Tension Sydney traffic, plane landing 15 right in the text. 16 right in the text. Correction 16 right. <laughs> oh dear. Flaps 1. Speed checked. Flaps 1. So what we'll do is we'll just uh, we'll, we'll let it continue on the downwind a little further. And then we'll make a turn to Sausage.
Sydney traffic chest star 457 is uh, turning base, runway 3 for left, uh, inbound sausage. What do you mean 210 speed CID? <laughs> Sydney Airport is built on Bodney Bay, where the first fleet lands into Australia. With the for stealing my bread. <laughs> Never knew that. Yeah, I don't know why he's chosen that one. I don't know why he's chosen that one. It's not every day you can say you're turning direct sausage. Of course, the 1138, uh, established on the drive, runway 34 right, 8.7 miles. If you two pull off this parallel approach, I'd be well impressed. Nice for it, very nice. Uh, flaps do gear down is normally done just before uh, glide slope intercept. The wind is zero zero six at two six, uh, where we are at the moment. But according to the meta on the ground, it's zero two zero at fifteen. I don't know Nampalan. Everide, hello, welcome. I don't know where Kaffel is actually, he's not here I don't think. I did a wing view to try and summon him but uh, no joy. Sydney traffic jet star 457 uh, established on the localizer runway uh, 34 left, 15 miles to run. You are Freddy, welcome back. It's been a bit of an emotional roller coaster this flight. I can, Jason, for a second. Probably want the other one, don't you, where the land is. No, I didn't, Harry. No, I missed that. Flaps 2. City traffic. Speed traffic. This is 3 mile far for runway 3, 4 right. Gear down. Flaps two. Flight attendants, please prepare for landing. Uh, bikes and more. Um, it's an unfortunate name given the circumstances. Um, uh, we're not on multi MSFS multiplayer, we're on Vatsim. My, my, I, to give that some context. Um, I found out halfway through the stream that my bike had been vandalised and the wheels and, and various other bits stolen. <laughs> but you're, you're very welcome to the channel, nice, nice to have you here. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll look into that, Turvy uh, Vision, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it is, thank you. 
I don't think it's available on Xbox One, no. <laughs> yeah, that would be that would be uh, ironic, wouldn't it, Randy? <laughs> Flaps three. Speed checked. Flaps three. Oh, nice, Dingo. Checked. Sydney traffic, 4C11, 1138, vacated runway, 34 right. Flaps four. Speed checked. Flaps full. Cabin crew, landing seated for landing. Cabin crew. Advised. Auto thrust. Speed. Auto brake. Low. Ecam memo. Landing nobly. Landing checklist complete. Now, where's this plane that's landing in the opposite direction then? Plane landing in the opposite direction, so it is a <laughs> pause over the airport. So I think it should be fine. <laughs> right, so add a little excitement to things. Oh, and he just turned into your airport. <laughs> One thousand. Sydney traffic jet star four five seven. Uh, short final runway three four left. Yeah, it's quite blow, isn't it? <laughs> yes, true, Seedler. Thank you, Carl. Do my best. I'll do my best. They've talked about a cloud based streaming version for Xbox. Oh, have they? Oh, interesting. It does look pretty bright, you're right, yeah. Right. Let's concentrate a little. Needs to make Minimum. up its damn mind. Continue. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Ten. Five. Spoilers. Reverse. Green. Decel. I can't remember which side I want to vacate. Knots. Right, don't stop me on the runway this time, please. Yeah, squeezing the brakes just doesn't just doesn't do it anymore, apparently. I, right, okay. Pretty sure right, yeah, that's the international on the left, isn't it? Cool, not bad. Is this is this the guy who was slowing around or who is this? Who is this? <laughs> Sydney traffic jet star four five seven's clear of three four left.
Oh, nice. Ben. Oh, okay. He's waiting for that guy. Fine, fine, fine. I uh, know, Kai. I'm sorry. I can't because you're too rude about my landing. <laughs> That's all right. No, you were, you were, you were uh, um, right to wait there because he was coming. I just wasn't sure. Oh, look at all these jet stars. It's pretty cool. Uh, right. Parking bays, parking bays, parking bays. Domestic. Four guys made a traffic jam here. Yeah. You wouldn't have thought it possible. There we are. <laughs> After landing checklist. Flaps. Retracted. Spoilers. Disarmed. APU. Start. Radar. Off. Predictive wind shear system. Off. After landing checklist complete. I'm sure I've done one before, Kai. I'm just not feeling it today. Sorry. Ooh, well done on floating slightly less. <laughs> it just suddenly, your plane just suddenly decided to sink down a bit. Oh, it's probably this taxiway bump that I'm about to go down. No rush, boss. Take your time. I'll tell Amy you've been uh, you've been talking about it. What do you, what do you mean? You, you lost me there. Planet Rio. Oh, it's Amy! It's Amy taxiing! <laughs> you don't think I taxi is bad, do you? <laughs> Amy! You, you literally you do take your time, no sarcasm intended. Welcome to Sydney. You're off to bed, Harrison. No worries. Oh, listen, thank you so, so much. You've been crazy generous. You're always generous, but today has been absolutely ridiculous. And uh, it's really appreciated. And your donation after my bike was stolen almost made me cry. So well done for that. And I'll, uh, I'll see you soon, mate. I think we want to go in here. This is where we started off, isn't it? Five six. I think they all kind of look a bit the same. I took five six. Sorry. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. And uh, find another one. Oh, it's for Alpha, it's clear. Roger, thank you. It is the flight amp scenery, yeah. Martin, hello, I'm very well, thanks. How are you? Well, I'm alright. Very well's a bit strong. But uh, yes, I'm alright. 
I had half my bike stolen, which I found out halfway through the stream, which is not so good. Taxi light off. <laughs> Ian, you deserve a slap for that. <laughs> Jetway positioning's a little worrying. I imagine that's a sim update 5 thing, right? Maybe it's alright. Yeah, it's alright. Simon! Oh my goodness Thank me. you so much for the continuous joy you bring to so many people's life. Today that triple seven wasn't meant to be, but it sure will one day. It's, Here's to the flight sim fam. It certainly will. It certainly will. And and I'm just I'm just speechless. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. That is beyond generous. That is it's insane, but I'm so appreciative of it. So thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Enough sentimentality. <laughs> no, I'm less on the brink than I was earlier. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> uh, engine's off. Uh, AP bleed is on, fortunately. <clears throat> um, beacon off and uh, seatbelt sign off. And we'll do the um, parking checklist. And then we'll draw our second winner of the day. <laughs> this is when a webcam would be very much not a good thing to have. Parking checklist. Checked. What? Not checked. Parking checklist. Parking checklist. APU bleed. On. Engines. Off. Seat belts. I think I just did that, didn't I? I don't know. Yeah, I did. Off. Oh, I am. Yes, I am, James. Yeah, as soon as the stream's over. I don't know if you're even supposed to ring them anymore, but I'll report it online or work out what the hell they're supposed to do. Off. Off. <laughs> Off. 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 Exterior lines. Thank you. Fuel pumps. Off. <laughs> Doesn't like Parking brake and shocks. <laughs> uh, on and in. On and in. Parking checklist complete. Glenn, bless you with the ten, the ten Australian dollars. Thank you so okay. much. Thank you. Very, very kind of you. Okay, okay. So here we are. Welcome back to Sydney. Um, and, and thank you all for flying along. And let us draw the final winner of the day. So just a reminder of how this works. If you win, you must contact me within 24 hours with the email address which is registered on Orbex Direct. Um, I will then pass your email address on to Orbex. They will add a copy of Ballina Airport to your account. And um, yeah, that's about it, I think. Oh yes, you must be a subscriber. Uh, if I draw someone who isn't a subscriber, I'll draw again. Um, oh, Void <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. That's really nice of you. Thank you. Rajiv, honestly, I, I, oh, you couldn't, as in it wouldn't work. That's weird. Don't worry, don't worry. Um, the thought is what counts. Uh, yes, yeah, so second winner of a copy of Ozzine's uh, Ballina, Byron, Ballina Byron Gateway Scenery will be, will be, as soon as I get my uh, windows in order, drawn soon, here we are. So I can tell you that uh, there are 43 uh, correct entries. The answer I was looking for was five kilometres, just the number five, but I accepted three as well because I know there's some website that says that when you ask Google. So yes, 43 correct answers. And the winner is, without further ado, Ribbon! <laughs> Congratulations, mate. Congratulations. Um, 
you can drop me a Discord message with your email. In fact, I've got your email address, but yeah, drop me a Discord message to make sure it's the same one that's registered on uh, on Orbex Direct um, as well, and then I'll get that sorted out. <laughs> uh, it's good news. Good news. Good news. Good way to end the stream, giving Ribbon a prize. Um, so yeah, I mean, honestly, I I don't know what to say about the volume and and amount of money that's been donated today. It's just incredible. Um, so let's go through all of you kind people in order. Uh, Wojtek, uh, Glenn, Simon for an obscene amount of money. Um, Tullius for joining up to Club Philbert Bronze. Welcome and thank you again. Harry for another obscene amount of money. Oh and Wojtek you donated twice of course as well. Little Jenny, uh, Willie multiple times, um, Dwyer, Liam, uh, Gibi, Melon Lord, Satira, Lord Daxon, Benny Boy, that's, <laughs> yeah, Ben, thank you, uh, Willie again, Harry again, and, and Simon again, and Harry again, it's just, yeah, it's just extraordinary, and I don't deserve it, even after my bike was stolen, um, but I am incredibly, incredibly grateful for it, and I'm incredible to incredibly grateful to everyone who has supported the channel over the last year um, and it's not all about the money it's about it's about you turning up time after time for the streams it's about those of you who who fly along with me regularly and it just makes me feel all of it um, very loved so thank you again um, and I'm gonna call it a day there before I go oh no Jason <laughs> Jason another 10 pounds thank you thank you bless you that's really really kind um, yes, I am going to. Uh, I am going to end the stream. Then. And uh, Elliot, you're very welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll come in handy on your world trip. <laughs> yeah, good, good. Um, yeah, going to end the stream there, and uh, contact the police, which is always fun. Um, thank you all for joining. Thank you for flying with. Thank you again for the donations. The next stream will be another giveaway. Uh, it's happening on Saturday at. Uh, I've actually brought it forward. So it's happening at 1100 Zulu. We're doing another uh, rotation, uh, EasyJet this time, from Bristol to Inverness and back. So I hope you can make that, uh, as I say, 1100 Zulu, midday UK time. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye.